What the hell is going on? Where's our air support? Get those forward guns going. Why aren't those rear batteries firing? Somebody get General Wilson on the horn! Colonel Fury. Doom. I'll have your head for this. I have little time for your petty threats, Colonel. Surrender your ship now, or I shall destroy it. Not on my watch. This is a priority alert to all metahumans. UNN Alpha requests immediate assistance. Thor, take care of those gunships. Spider-Man, draw them towards the stern. Sure thing. I just love being the target. Wolverine, you Stop. go it, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. to Staten Island. some help. <laughs> that dude scares me. Ghost Rider. Deadpool. Iceman. We're just going to the mall this time, right? Gentlemen, this is Colonel Nick Fury. I'm on the main bridge, but I'm not sure how long I'll last. Get here ASAP. Fury out.
just wish we could have been like I hit the jackpot! I'm working for the biggest group of villains this world has ever known. The Masters of Evil! <laughs> That's the best part of all. We're led by the man himself. Dr. Doom. If you only knew. Cause Doom's got a plan that's gonna shake the heavens. You wanna get tough, punk? Good. Cause so do I. Thanks for responding to my SOS so quickly. The Helicarrier is under attack by a group of supervillains called the Masters of Evil. And to make matters worse, they're led by Victor Von Doom. My thoughts exactly. It's not important. I told you it's not important. Colonel Fury, this is the Black Widow. The Masters of Evil have activated the launch cycle of our nuclear missiles. I need help if they are to be stopped. Help is on its way, Black Widow. Fury out. Team, just one of those missiles could level an entire city. Failure is not an option. You have to get to the launch bay and stop them. Glad you made it to the party. The fight to save this helicarrier isn't gonna be easy. The 
Black Widow is my second in command. She goes where I go. And that training has proven invaluable. I've never met a soldier who's calmer or more resourceful than in battle. It started when radar detected distant ghost images, but they disappeared, so we figured it was just an atmospheric disturbance. They knew. When they hit us, it was a complete surprise. They took out our main weapon batteries and our fighter bays in a matter of seconds. And they thwarted every attempt we made to counterattack. They're a group of supervillains, led by Dr. Victor Von Doom. There's been sightings of dozens of major criminals. Ultron, Baron Mordo, just to name a couple. I'd expect nothing less from an organization headed by you. Carry on. Whatever. Why not? Need something else? Carry on. If you say so. Spider-Man. Didn't expect you to be one of the first to show up. What? And this riding on the helicarrier? This beast has got to be the biggest waste of taxpayer money in history. Hey, you guys have any plans to make a flying Mount Rushmore? Seriously, that would totally rock. Carry on. Got it. Wolverine, glad you are here. Looks like we're in a nasty fight. Wouldn't have it any other way, Fury. Carry on. Okey dokey.
chilling. <laughs> Sure thing. you just an impressive bunch of heroes. Too bad my good buddies Daredevil and Electra weren't with you. You wouldn't be trying to stop the nuclear missile I just launched, would you? Hey, if the boss wants me to launch a missile at a heavily populated city, I do it. I don't get paid to ask questions. Sorry, I can't. And even if I did step aside, there's nothing you could do. I've got the only access card to the navigation computer. I choose or else. The 
masters of evil are attacking our stabilizing engines. There's too many for me to stop alone. Black Widow, do not engage the enemy. I want you out of there immediately. Team, double time it and save that engine. Glad to see you. Someone named the Winter Soldier hacked into our network and trapped us with our own security force meetings. Boy, do you look stupid. Give me ten bucks and I won't tell Nick Fury about this. Ten dollars? Are you insane? You're a hero. You're right. Make it a hundred. My tights don't come cheap. But you're supposed to save people for free. I charge stupid people. And you qualify, seeing as how you're trapped in your own living compartment. By the way, the price is up to 200. Fine, fine, I'll pay it. Just go to the security console and reboot the system. It'll take two of your team members to activate. Watch out for traps. Ooh, I don't like traps. The price just went up to 500. All right, I'll pay whatever you want. Winter Soldier probably put laser trip wires along the way. If you walk through them, the bomb will be triggered. Uh, just to warn you, if I die, my price goes up to a thousand. Thanks for setting us free. Being trapped in our own rooms was kind of an embarrassing situation. Good luck, and be careful.
You are officially a loser. Why not? We will teach you the true meaning of pain. You made a big mistake coming here. One you are never going to have a chance to repeat. You're in for a world of surprise, my friend. The Masters of Evil have teamed its members up in combinations that even your combined powers can't handle. Yes. All the better to crush our enemies. Good. At least you've got guts. I hate fighting cowards. Yes, I too enjoy a good battle. Now, let the fight begin! a little carried away, but we're on it. Lower the force fields and let's clear out of here. It is lucky for you we must depart. I was just getting warmed up. But we will meet again, I promise you. I told you they'd follow. They're as predictable as the sunrise. Come then, heroes. Follow us a bit further. <laughs>
We're up here. Now you've had it. Yes. Let us see how you fare against this force. Attack! I won. Fear me. In a matter of moments, the Winter Soldier will have unlocked the security code for this gun. Then, we shall fire it into the engine. Don't you understand? You can't defeat the Masters of Evil. We're just too powerful. Abandon ship while you still can. He has a plan that will give us all enough power to live like kings for an eternity. Quiet, Chen. You've already said too much. Ah, it does not matter. They will not live to tell anyone. Why don't we make sure of that? I will... <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Time to waste. The Masters of Evil have unleashed some huge creature that's attacking our primary engines. If it succeeds, we're all dead.
Is he always late? Hello, team. Welcome to Stark Tower, my pride and joy. It's 40 stories of heaven on Earth. Huh. It's amazing what you can do with just a few billion dollars. We are now a team? Yes. I've been empowered by S.H.I.E.L.D. to create a task force to stop the Masters of Evil. But the Helicarrier was so badly damaged that it can't be used as a headquarters. Fortunately, Tony is willing to let us stay here for the duration, and has all the facilities we'll require. Believe me, it's no problem at all. And I called in a few old friends to help us out. Feel free to walk around and meet them. I'd suggest you meet Hank Pym first, since he's in charge of equipment. The Vision is here as our information officer. Great. We got a computer to talk to the computers for us. When you're ready to go on a mission, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He'll take you there in one of my Quinjets. 
Speaking of that, what is our next mission, Colonel? I recently received a radio transmission from Dum Dum Dugan requesting that I come to the Omega base. But there was something questionable in his message. You think it might be a trap? Maybe. I can't be sure. For more information, talk to the Black Widow. It's good to see you. Welcome to the team. Yes, we're a S.H.I.E.L.D. task force created to investigate the Masters of Evil. It's our mandate to stop Doom and his army before they cause any serious damage. S.H.I.E.L.D. is an international organization. We belong to no one and to everyone. With the helicarrier seriously damaged, we had to find a different base of operations. Tony Stark offered the use of these facilities. Exactly. Though I'm surprised to be here. You see, Stark Industries and S.H.I.E.L.D. recently had a falling out. Yes, Stark recently stopped developing weapons for us. As you can imagine, we were less than enthusiastic. S.H.I.E.L.D. tried applying pressure, both legal and not so legal. But I gotta hand it to Stark. He held his ground even though he's lost billions. Anytime. Hello, my name is Black Widow. I am second in command to Colonel Fury. Dum Dum Dugan recently sent a suspicious radio message. He requested Colonel Fury visit the Omega base immediately for an update on the Super Soldier Serum. Dugan said Dr. Banner would give the report. The odd thing being Dr. Banner is not on the Super Soldier project. Since we don't know this situation, you are to sneak aboard the base and locate Dugan. From there, we'll determine the best course of action. When you are ready to go, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He will take you in a Quinjet. The offer was initially made after a S.H.I.E.L.D. operation, where I switched identities with a countryman of mine, Yelena Balova. Yes, the blonde one. I declined the offer, but as we all know, Colonel Fury can be very persistent. It is a huge mobile shield research facility that is several stories tall. Yes, it is used to field test some of our most highly classified experiments. You are quite welcome. Hello, Deadpool. Welcome to the team. Ah, how I have missed you, mon petit chapel. Let us run away and live a carefree life someplace exotic, like Pittsburgh. You are quite welcome. Greetings. My name is Vision. I will be your primary source of information concerning any persons or locales you might encounter. Unfortunately, my line to the S.H.I.E.L.D. database has a security issue. Would you retrieve a decryption module from Black Widow and bring it to me? The acronym stands for Strategic Hazard Intervention, Espionage and Logistics Directorate. Its primary responsibility is counter-terrorism for the world. 
Operating under the jurisdiction of the United Nations, S.H.I.E.L.D. is expected to deal with any threat to the security of the world's population. That designation has been used several times over the years, but it is not associated with any particular group of villains. Dr. Doom has assembled dozens of the world's most notorious supervillains, not the least of which is Ultron and Baron Mordo. Victor Von Doom was raised in the tiny European country of Latveria. The untimely death of his parents made Doom vengeful towards the world. A genius, he attended Empire State University. Unfortunately, Doom performed a dangerous experiment that resulted in an explosion. As a result, Doom was expelled. Bitter, he traveled the world until he met Tibetan monks who created his first suit of armor. Doom then returned to Latveria where he overthrew the government and proclaimed himself ruler. The Black Widow was a Russian spy who defected several years ago. Upon joining S.H.I.E.L.D., she rose quickly through the ranks until she became Colonel Fury's number one operative. There is nothing on her S.H.I.E.L.D. record to indicate otherwise. Why, do you ask? I am glad to be of assistance. Hi, my name's Hank Pym. Dr. Hank Pym. I've heard you're going to the Omega base. If you see my cybernetic helmet, could you bring it back to me? I was working on a new version of my cybernetic helmet. Uh, then Captain America called and said you guys could use somebody with a little technical know-how. Hey, I'm glad to be helping out. Besides, I was getting bored working in a lab all day. Oh yeah, well that's where I was working on my cybernetic helmet. It's a real nice facility. I didn't see a whole lot because of security, but I do know there's a team working with gamma bombs, and I think a new study is being done on the super soldier drug. Come back anytime. We're always open. All right. How are you doing, Spider-Man? Not so good. I had lunch at Taco Hut. You might want to keep your distance. Come back anytime. Yeah, sure. Hello, Iceman. It's a pleasure to have you on the team. Oh, hi. <coughs> uh, hi. <laughs> Black Widow. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're looking nice. You are quite welcome. Okie dark. All right. Wolverine. Think you're ready to battle the masters of evil? You know me, Fury. I'm always ready for a good scrap. Anytime. Hello. I'm very glad you could join the team. My apologies. I should have given it to him as soon as we arrived. Please, take this to him. You are... That's a big 10-4. Hey, you made it. That's great. I guess they're calling in all the big guns for this one. Hmm? Come. Thank you for the decryption module. Now I can patch directly into the S.H.I.E.L.D. database. I am glad to be of assistance. Wyatt Wingfoot. In case you didn't know, I'm your pilot while you're here at Stark Tower. We'll be taking the Quinjet when you're ready to leave on a mission. Sure. What do you need? 
discreetly. As in, don't let Fury know? Yeah, I can do that. Give me a little bit. I think I know just the person to ask. Any time at all, friend. Got it. Hi. It's good to see you. Let's not get all formal. Call me Wyatt. There's a hacker I know. He's kind of an oddball, but I think he's up to the challenge. If you don't mind me asking, whose laptop is this? So, you think Natasha's up to something, eh? Maybe working for the other team. Stark needed a pilot, and he knows I've flown for the Fantastic Four. So I guess he figured I had the skills. I was roommates with Johnny Storm back in college. He introduced me to the group, and after a while, they started inviting me on missions. Mr. Stark, there's a Herald Hogan online, too. It's a high-tech jet developed by Stark's company. It's usually used by the Avengers. Mr. Stark, there's Miss Bambi. It's undetectable to radar, can take off and land itself. Heck, it'll even dial the phone for you. Plus, it's got the latest in jet engine technology. This thing will get you around the world in no time. We're close to the landing zone, so I'll be brief. Dum Dum Dugan recently sent a suspicious radio message requesting I meet him at the Omega base for a report on the latest super soldier serum. What's so suspicious about that? Dr. Banner was to give the report. The only thing is, Banner has been working on the Gamma Bomb project, not the super soldier serum. Dugan would never make a mistake like that. Something's up. What is the Omega base? It's a mobile lab that's over five stories tall. We use it for field testing experiments. Oh, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s the greatest. Flying aircraft carriers, office buildings on wheels. Oh, please tell me you've got a tunnel that runs from New York to Tokyo. Spider-Man, this is serious. Colonel, is there anything on board the Omega that would be considered dangerous? If the contents of that vehicle were to fall into the wrong hands, it would be disastrous for all mankind. Exactly what are you developing that could threaten the entire planet? That's classified. So it's all right for us to save the vehicle. We just can't know what's going on there. Correct. Now, if I may continue, the team's mission will be to sneak on board the Omega and locate Dugan. He should be able to bring you up to speed on the situation. Any questions? All right, good luck. to see your ugly face. You keep up with all this sweet talk, dude, and you're gonna make me blush. Now what's the story here? A knockout gas was spread through the ventilation system of the base. I woke up to Dr. Doom demanding I bring Colonel Fury here or he'd ram the Omega into Vondrak Dam. Well, the Tin Man must have forgotten his part of the bargain, because the base is headed straight for that dam. I should have known. It was stupid of me to believe him. Don't sweat it. If it weren't for your message, we wouldn't have come at all. Then where'd everyone be? I suppose you're right. But our time's running out. Get me to the primary engineering control room, and I'll stop the Omega before it can do any damage.
See you around, sucker. Control room just ahead. Hopefully Doom left it alone. Get me there, we should be fine.
Team. Now, let's see about stopping this behemoth. Blast it. All controls have been locked down, except those on the upper bridge. Correct. We'll have to reach the top deck and stop the Omega base from there. Sounds like a plan. Good luck. Why not? I just what wish we could have Thank you. 
sing for you. Villain is chilling. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So, the reports were right. There is a team of superheroes on the Omega base. Well, let's see if this doesn't slow you down. Just what I Say so. Hey, can anybody hear me? I'm stuck in this lab. That's a big deal. Am I glad to see you? What the heck is going on around here? There was a huge explosion, and then I couldn't open this door. I'm fine. I just hope... Wait a minute. Did you say the Omega is under attack? We have to stop it. If that dam is destroyed, thousands of people will be killed in the flood. Not to mention how much my work would be lost. Those must be the results of the super soldier experiment I've heard about. Scientists are attempting to recreate the experiment that gave Captain America his strength. So far, apparently, all they've created are those giants you've seen. Team, you must be making the Masters of Evil nervous. My security panel shows a gamma bomb has just been activated. You gotta shut it down or all life in a two-mile radius will be destroyed. Well, it just so happens I'm kind of a specialist on gamma bombs. Take me to the primary lab and I'll see what I can do. Find the auxiliary lab and re-establish the safety interlock. Hello, do you have a question? It's a drug that was developed during World War II in hopes of creating soldiers that were stronger and faster than normal humans. Yes. Unfortunately, there's something very special about his physique. The drug won't work properly on anyone but him. I've been working with a team that's developing a smaller, more powerful gamma bomb. Teams aren't allowed to know what each other are doing. Heck, just walking into the wrong section can get you court-martialed, even if you're a civilian. The Shield runs this place. They live for all that cloak and dagger stuff. Glad to be of help.
Why not? Villain is chillin'. If you say so. Let me see it. Yes, I was able to shut down the gamble bond. We're safe. That was close. That sucker detonated everything within a two mile radius would have been destroyed. Sounds good to me. I'm no superhero. Mysterio. Jeez, it's good to see you. Still got a fishbowl for a head, I see. Spider-Man, do you always have to be a half-wit? Oh, now that hurt. And speaking of getting hurt, step away from those plans before I have to get medieval on you. You idiot. Why do you think S.H.I.E.L.D. has plans for Ultron? I thought everyone had them. I got some this morning in a box of cereal. These plans are upgrades. The good guys want to capture Ultron, so they can rewrite his programming and turn him into a shield weapon. That's impossible. Ultron is sentient. Reprogramming him is illegal. Yes, it is. But all I care about are these plans. Ultron wants them for the weapon upgrades. <laughs> if your Ultron gets weapon upgrades, then my Ultron will want weapon upgrades, and that just won't do. Huh? I've heard enough of your babbling. Freeze! Freeze. 
Watch out. There's an aim helicopter patrolling the deck. I tried to take it out with this anti-aircraft gun, but it's just too fast. Yeah, at the other end of the deck. But you can't seriously think you're gonna take that chopper out. If you say so. <laughs> Right? I won. Fear me. Yeah! <laughs> 
Okie doke. Sure thing. to see you guys. I've been trying to unlock the door to the bridge, but a helicopter keeps strafing the deck. Can you give me a hand? Sounds like a plan. All I ask is that you take the helicopter out quick. I don't think I'm gonna last long out in the open. Watch out. There's an eight. Yeah, the. Next time, I want to fight somebody who doesn't smell like old cheese. Well, if you say so. Am I glad to see you guys? Stop. Got it. The door to the bridge is open. Thanks for the assist. I would have been Swiss cheese if you hadn't taken that helicopter out. You'll get no argument from me. I've had enough excitement for one day. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's right. I want Officially a loser. Sure. <laughs> Test of brain. I'm afraid you have no other options. Now, 
power to Hingling's interesting, you'll receive an electrical shock for every incorrect answer you give. Let's begin, shall we? What force holds you to the earth? That was a lucky guess! Who is Loki the true son of? Oh, your answer was incorrect. Isn't that shocking? In which type of matter are atoms most tightly packed? Somehow you're cheating! What? Light. Impossible! Is one of you reading my mind? The deal is off! Trick me somehow! Guards, attack! You did a good job on the Omega Base team. You saved thousands of lives and billions of dollars in shield equipment. Yes, a device known as the Mutant Amplifier. It magnifies a mutant's natural powers. Until we locate Doom's base, nothing. And since all we're doing is cooling our heels, I want you to investigate a report that there's a riot taking place in Atlantis. See Wyatt Wingfoot, and he'll take you to Shield's Atlantis Outpost. Or if you'd like more information, talk to the Black Widow. Well done on the Omega mission. Will you have the same success in Atlantis? Shield's directive is to keep the world peace. To do that, we have to monitor the activities of every major civilization. I'm sure they wouldn't be too happy, and that's why they aren't going to find out about it. We realize now that Doom had no intention of commandeering the helicarrier. They attacked to draw additional security forces there. Correct. The Omega and the experiments it held was their prime objective all along. Dugan's still trying to sort things out, but apparently the base sustained only minor damage. Yes, they've been locked in a cold storage unit on level 3. Aside from some minor cases of frostbite, everyone was fine. You're welcome. We just received a message from Nemorita, the cousin of Nemo. Apparently, there is a riot going on in Atlantis. Unknown, but for some reason, the Atlanteans have forcibly removed Namor from his throne. Yes, which means something is seriously wrong. See Wyatt when you are ready to go to S.H.I.E.L.D.'s outpost in Atlantis. We do not know. He has been a fair and just ruler for many years. The people love him. Perhaps, but Namor has always been kind to his people. There has to be some other explanation for this mass hysteria. When merpeople and surface dwellers first met, 
there was quite a bit of hostility. There were even several invasion attempts. The relationship between our two races is lukewarm at best. The Mer people prefer to keep us at arm's distance. Once you reach our Atlantis outpost, you will be infected with a special nanotechnology. Mr. Fantastic and Dr. Pym had a hand in developing it. It will allow you to breathe water with no discomfort. You will also be able to move along the bottom of the ocean as if you were moving on dry land. My apologies. I should have given it to him as soon as we arrived. Please, take this to him. You are quite welcome. All right. Your team was outnumbered, and still you saved the Omega base. Not bad, Wolverine. Yeah, this group's got some real potential, Fury. You're welcome. Sure thing. That's a big ten for Hello, Deadpool. Black Widow, I feel we've known each other long enough that I can ask you, are you putting on weight? You are quite welcome. All right. Hello, Iceman. What's new, Black Widow? You are quite welcome. Well, if you say so. Welcome, my friend. Do you require information? Namor is the first known hybrid of Homo sapiens and Homo mermanus, humans and mer people. He can breathe water and air, but if he's away from water too long, he will begin to weaken. As with most mer people, he has an inborn distrust of surface dwellers, and true to his belligerent nature, Namor can take his distrust to the extreme. The Atlanteans are distant cousins to your race. Having evolved on the ocean floor, it is impossible for them to breathe air. Because they live in the extreme conditions of the ocean, mer people are very hardy. They are stronger than humans, can swim up to 30 miles per hour, and live to be over 150 years of age. I am glad to be of assistance. If you say so. How's things, Spider-Man? Not so good. I think my costume shrunk in the dryer. The mutant amplifier vastly augments any mutant's natural power. So a psychic that can lift a book will become powerful enough to lift a bus. Yes, but it has some serious side effects. The amplifier causes damage to the DNA of any mutant it's used on. Not much. The serum's only worked on Captain America. There's something very peculiar about his physique. That, plus the doctor who originally developed it, is dead. He'd wind up with a bunch of muscle-bound beasts, just like you saw in the Omega. They're psychotic, violent, and unable to take orders. Not exactly what you'd want from an army. Ah, it was no problem at all. That's a big ten for Happy birthday, Mr. Grimm. Mr. Stark, there's a Harold Hogan on my Welcome, and good day to you. I am Edwin Jarvis, personal butler to Mr. Anthony Stark. This area is where Mr. Stark carries out the research and development of his Iron Man suit. As you can imagine, the body armor has become so complex that a staff of technicians is required. You may walk around and inspect the facilities. I believe you'll already find several of your compatriots here. Uh, yeah, uh, the name's Jack Hammer, uh, but you can call me Weasel. Everyone does. 
Yeah, and don't worry, I came in through the back. No one saw me. Uh, Wyatt Wingfoot gave me a damaged laptop, said you heroes wanted to know what data was on it. Yeah, that laptop holds security information for a building called the Imperium. I can find out, but you'll have to get me the password into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s priority files. Oh, there's, uh, there's three possibilities. Jacob Fury, Baron Struker, or Gabriel Jones. Talk to Vision. He'll be able to help. I do hate to impose, but if you see a cufflink somewhere in Stark Tower, could you return it to me? It was lost by Mr. Stark, and it has extreme sentimental value to him. My name is Edwin Jarvis, and I'm Mr. Anthony Stark's butler, as well as the butler for the Avengers. You could say it runs in my blood. My mother and father worked for Mr. Stark's parents. It is a dream of Mr. Stark's that was four years in the making. The top three floors are his living quarters. The rest of the building houses his business interests. No, not any longer. Mr. Stark recently had a change of heart concerning that particular field of industry. This is primarily where new Iron Man suits are built for Mr. Stark. Oh, indeed he does. But as his designs have grown more and more complex, he has required assistance in manufacturing them. It was my pleasure. A good day to you, sir. My name is Edwin Jarvis. Hello, good citizen. I'm Captain America! You don't have to salute if you don't want to. I know Captain America, sir. And you are no Captain America. All righty then. I'm Thor. You might want to kneel in my presence. I am the God of Thunder, you know. Ah, you must be the Deadpool character I was warned about. It was my pleasure. Hello again. It was... Has Tony Stark got it made or what? He's rich, he's a genius, and to top it all off, he's got the perfect mustache. Gee, I can't see why. Doctor Doom's in control of an army of supervillains, and the Black Widow is working for him. Are you off your meds? The only thing that would make this worse is if the Earth were destroyed to make way for an intergalactic highway. Of course she is. Hey. I've been at the superhero game long enough to know that the hot chicks always turn evil. Probably because evil pays better. If one of Nick's little S.H.I.E.L.D. agents is turned to the dark side, then Nicky will have to figure it out for himself. No, it isn't. If you finish that sentence, I'm gonna put so much web in your hair, you'll have to shave your head. Sure, sure. I must admit, I find news of a S.H.I.E.L.D. outpost near Atlantis very intriguing. Now I know the extent S.H.I.E.L.D. is willing to go to to gather information on countries with closed borders. Indeed it does. And now I wonder if perhaps S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't have an outpost hidden there. We have the largest deposit of vibranium in the world. To open our borders would be an invitation to those who would conquer us. Over the centuries, fools have tried. But the Black Panther is always there to stop them. Indeed I am. Victor Von Doom has created a sizable army of supervillains. I don't know. But Doom must have a truly grand scheme to risk attacks on the Helicarrier and the Omega base. You are quite welcome. I know seeing the Super Soldier Project has raised some concerns about S.H.I.E.L.D., but let's get all the facts before we cause any trouble. I think S.H.I.E.L.D. has a lot to deal with, and sometimes it makes mistakes, but historically, it's done a great job of keeping the peace. 
I saw they were testing out a new version of the Super Soldier Serum, the same type of drug that gave me my strength and agility. Yes. During World War II, I volunteered for Operation Rebirth. It was a program for creating physically superior soldiers. I exceeded their expectations. Unfortunately, Dr. Erskine, the man who developed the drugs, was killed, and no one's been able to recreate his work. I have to admit, things sound kind of suspicious. Like, why was she carrying that laptop during the attack on the helicarrier? No. I'd need a lot more evidence before I'd say something like that about the Black Widow. Anytime, friend. The Black Widow is up to something, I just know it. Did you see how nervous she was on the helicarrier? Sure looks like it. She must have been trying to get that laptop to the enemy during the helicarrier battle. Yes. That laptop shows all security systems for the building. And from the looks of those systems, the Imperium must hold something valuable. Not yet. She's his second in command. We're going to need some pretty strong evidence to shake Fury's faith in her. Yes, Colonel Fury's trust doesn't come easily. And once given, it's nearly impossible to break. Okay, so Daredevil and I were close several years back. And the Black Widow and Daredevil were close not so long ago. No, I'm not. I'm long over Daredevil. If he can find happiness with the Black Widow, I wish them both the best. You're welcome. Stark Towers of Beauty, isn't she? I consider her one of my greatest achievements. No problem. Our little task force needed a base, so it seemed like the thing to do. I wasn't worried about the cost. That is, until S.H.I.E.L.D. and I had our little disagreement. More like they had trouble with me. I wanted out of the weapons business. I can't tell you how many breach of contract suits they filed. That was just the beginning. Suddenly, I had trouble getting building permits, filing patents. Uh, don't get me started on how my taxes changed. I'm not sure exactly. One morning, I realized I needed to do more than just amass wealth. I wanted to help people, and weapons aren't that helpful. You really don't need that many billions to get by. No, my life's taking a new course. I want to be remembered for helping lives, not destroying them. Any time, my friend. Any time at all. Weasel, old buddy. I haven't seen you in weeks. Where have you been hiding? In the hospital? You stabbed me in the leg. Remember? Oh yeah, that's right. But I had to. You were trying to eat the last cheesy puff. <laughs> it was my bag of cheesy puffs. Well, that's not how I remember it. It definitely belongs to the Black Widow. It's got her fingerprints all over it. For most techs, it would have been a lost cause, but for me, I managed to drag up a few tidbits of information. It mostly dealt with a building called the Imperium. I don't know. But that laptop had the layout of the building and all kinds of information about the security. I can, but you need to get me Fury's password into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s priority files. I bet I'll find everything you want to know. My sources tell me it's one of three possibilities. Uh, that's what... Uh, sure. I've heard 
people complaining about S.H.I.E.L.D. since we got back from the Omega. I'm telling you, it's gotta stop. I trust Nick Fury. He's pulled my fat out of the fire more times than I can remember. Look, Fury does what he has to to keep the world safe. He ain't always got the luxury of playing by the rules. I've known her for a while. She's always been good in a fight. And Fury trusts her. Unless that meathead weasel comes up with better evidence, I ain't believing nothing against the Black Widow. Of course I am. He's been loyal to me. After all the trouble I had with the Hand recently, I owe Fury my life a dozen times over. Let's just say that evil bunch of psychos got hold of me and turned me into their assassin. It caused a lot of people a lot of pain. But Fury helped me out. Kept me alive. And I'll never forget that. Sure thing, bub. Welcome, my friend. Do you require information? I know it's a name Colonel Fury would just as soon forget. Jacob Fury was so jealous of his older brother's success that he turned to a life of crime. Yes, and to make matters worse, the Colonel was forced to kill Jacob. So you can see why Colonel Fury does not care to dwell on that name. I would suggest you talk to the Black Widow about that name. Hello, Deadpool. Black Widow. I would not say that name too loud. He is a leader of Hydra, and a long-time nemesis of Colonel Fury. You should ask Colonel Fury about Mr. Jones. You are quite welcome. Do you need something else? Gabe? Heck yes. He's a great guy. Back in the day, he was one of my Howling Commandos. He still is. Gabe's one of my top advisors. He saved me from making serious mistakes more times than I care to remember. You're welcome. Ask Dr. Pym if he could take a look at the Quinjet's data feed to Stark Tower. It cuts out every once in a while. Any time at all, friend. Hi again. Ah, that's right. The Quinjet's comm line to the Stark Tower was cutting out. I'll take care of that right away. Ah. Ah, splendid. You located the missing cufflink. It was a gift from Miss Virginia Potts when she had been Mr. Stark's secretary. It was my pleasure. A good day to you, sir. Hello, good citizen. I'm Captain America! You don't have to salute if you don't want to. I know Captain America, sir. And you are no Captain America. Alrighty then. I'm Thor. You might want to kneel in my presence. I am the God of Thunder, you know. Ah, you must be the Deadpool character I was warned about. It was my pleasure. Weasel, old buddy. In the hospital? Oh, yeah, that... <laughs> well, that's not helpful. Thanks. 
when you get back from Atlantis, I'll have all the information you need. Uh, sure. Anytime. Good to see you. Are you kidding? Mr. Stark built this jet as tough as they come. No problem. She's completely submersible. Listen up, people. We've been sent here to investigate a situation in Atlantis. What kind of situation are we talking about here, Cap? An hour ago, Namorita sent a message saying a riot's taking place. A crowd broke into the throne room of Atlantis and dragged Namor off his throne. Why would the Atlanteans riot? They love Namor. I don't know. Namorita had to stop transmitting before she could give any details. How are we to handle a mission in the undersea conditions of Atlantis? There's nanotechnology at this outpost that will let us breathe and move normally through the water. I want to remind you, the Atlanteans aren't exactly big fans of us surface dwellers. What if they become violent? Defend yourselves. We have to help Namor any way we can. He's a valuable ally. That's it. Let's be careful out there. Somebody take a picture! Good. Locate the nano chamber and activate it. Once the nanites are in your bloodstream, you're free to enter the water. Sure thing.
Yeah. Yeah. Sure. A little. Okay? You're not looking so good. You're gone, X-Men. I do not require your aid. My people need me. I must save them. I hate to say it, but you look like the one who needs saving. Namor, you have to rest. Here, take this medicine.
Don't worry, Iceman. The drugs only rendered him unconscious. Whoa, is he gonna be mad when he wakes up, huh? True. But right now you must go to the Temple of Negretti. There you'll find plants that will help me heal Namor. That'd be cool. Have you got any idea what's going on around here, though? I, why is everybody so local? My people are being brainwashed by devices called sonic emitters. With them, Atuma was able to take the throne of Atlantis. Well, don't let a frown wrinkle that pretty face, Namorita. We'll take care of the sonic emitters and get rid of Atuma. Hi. Is there something I can do for you? It all happened so fast. One minute I was in the throne room with Namor. The next thing I knew, a throng of angry Atlanteans burst in and carried him off. No, I think he was afraid of injuring his people. Yes, I'm sure it was Atuma's idea. Only he would want to humiliate Namor like that. Probably for the same reason you're not. Because of the human portion of our genetics. To be precise, I'm the clone of a hybrid. He's a barbarian who believes he's destined to become the ruler of Atlantis. Oh yes, but Atuma's always failed. The only success he's had is when he helped kill Namor's bride, a long time ago. No problem. You're near the sonic emitters. They're what's making the Atlanteans so violent. Be very careful now. Atuma would not leave the devices unguarded. intend on destroying the sonic emitters, Krang. Then these humans are as foolish as they are weak, my cousin. They stand no chance against our combined might. True, but I do savor a chance for battle. I grow bored guarding these devices. As do I. But acting as guards has put us in Atuma's good graces. And that puts us near the throne. <laughs> and down the road. Who is to say what might happen to King Atuma, eh, cousin? My feelings exactly. Now let us dispose of these interlopers and prove to Atuma just how trustworthy we are.
I won. Fear me. <laughs> Next time, I want to fight somebody who doesn't smell like old cheese. <laughs> Officially a loser. All right, okie doke. Whatever. All right. <laughs> Wish we could have been friends.
Why not? Saved my life. I am forever in your debt. No, I must repay you. Here is the combination to a safe located in a nearby sunken submarine. Please use it and take whatever you find. if I do my happy dance? That's a big 10-4. emitters destroyed, my people will eventually return to normal. Now you should get to the throne room of Atlantis as fast as you can. Yes, and who knows what he'll do when he finds out you're ruining his plans.
Do you need something else? No problem. You've got that right. The Guardians are trained to protect the temple against all invaders, surface dwellers in particular. You need to find an extremely rare plant known as Waelic seaweed. It's very valuable and will be well protected. Negretti, take it. The priests of the temple use them to open locks. We could have been... Never should have come here.
You're lucky I went easy on you. doesn't last long after it's picked. Let me open up a whirlpool for you. It'll bring you right back to my location. The humans are here!
It's as if I can't go this way! Good. You've got the ingredients. Give me a minute. What's this? I dreamt my people were in danger, and my realm was stolen from me. It's no dream, cousin. A tomb has taken your throne and enslaved your people. But you're still much too weak to fight. No. I'll not forsake my people in their time of need. I had not thought you surface dwellers were capable of such kindness. If you succeed, I will be forever in your debt. you so much trouble. Indeed. 
and they will pay for their transgressions. Your devotion to Namor is pitiful, surface dwellers. He is lost, and as foretold in the Atlantean Chronicles, I will be the ruler of Atlantis. Don't worry about these idiots, Atuma. Your loyal minions are more than happy to take care of them.
enter my throne room, surface dwellers. Kneel before the King of Atlantis! Fools! You will pay for your insolence! Let me teach them a lesson, Atuma. No. We will work together, Tiger Shark. And we will make them pay dearly for their transgressions against the King of Atlantis! the Atlanteans after what we did. It was the masters of evil. They helped Atuma in return for letting them take whatever they wanted from the catacombs. Probably there's a lot there to search through.
A big 10 4. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you say so. Emitters, and I just now located our prize, the Tome of Asarius. I'm sorry, but I have no time for questions. I must be on my way to the Valley of Spirits. But before I go, allow me to summon a little entertainment for you. It's the least I can do.
Yeah, sure. Atlantis owes you a debt of gratitude, and Namor would like to say something. Surface dwellers, I'll have you know I was perfectly capable of handling the situation alone. Mm, yes, well, you did. So I suppose I should thank you. You now have my permission to leave Atlantis. You did a good job in Atlantis. Who knows, Atlanteans may even start to tolerate us surface dwellers. And that's why your next stop is his palace in the Valley of Spirits. Yes, I want you to discuss things with Mandarin. Find out what the Masters of Evil are planning. Talk to Black Widow for additional information, or see Mr. Wingfoot if you're ready to go now. While you're at Mandarin's palace, I need you to bring back the latest Ultimo schematics. No one's sure. Tome of Asarius is an ancient mystical text that explains alternate dimensions. 
deals primarily with Mephisto's realm, the Halls of Fear, and the Shadow Realm. All we know is that they've taken the Super Soldier Serum, the Mutant Amplifier, and the Tome of Asarius. That's the question everyone's trying to answer. So far, we don't even have a guess. And that's why you're going to talk to Mandarin. According to Namorita, Masonic emitters are completely destroyed and the Atlanteans have begun cleanup of their city. No, quite the opposite. They're grateful. They understand you had to battle them to save their city from Atuma. Certainly. Whatever. Wolverine? Fury? Certainly. Well, if you say so. He is a genius who has developed ten rings of power from alien technology. His palace in the Valley of Spirits is protected by a gigantic robot known as Ultimo. Very. But Iron Man could fill you in on the specifics. He and Mandarin have been arch enemies for years. It is a valley in mainland China where Mandarin discovered the wreckage of an ancient starship. The Axan Kar, dragon-like creatures from the planet Maklu 4. Their technology is still centuries ahead of us. He reassembled it in a deserted castle in the Valley of Spirits. And while working with this advanced machinery, he also discovered the Maklu and Power Rings. They were intended to serve as energy sources for the warp drive engines of the alien starship, but Mandarin converted them to his own twisted needs. My apologies. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. You are. Sure thing. Hello, it's good to see you. Sir. How are you doing, Iceman? Great, just great. I've lost count of how many bad guys I've thrashed today. You are most welcome. Well, if you say so. You are most welcome. Welcome. Do you have a question for me? He was the son of one of the richest men in China, but he was orphaned at an early age and was raised by an aunt who despised the world. Yes, something of a scientific wonderkin. Mandarin attended very prestigious schools both in China and abroad. There was a change in the power structure of China, and Mandarin lost all of his wealth and power. Anxious to return to that lifestyle, he ventured into the Valley of Spirits in hopes of making a major discovery. It is an area in China that had long been deserted. There, Mandarin located the shattered hulk of an ancient alien starship. The Axon Car, dragon-like creatures from the planet Maklu 4. Within the ship, Mandarin discovered advanced technology he was able to turn to his own uses. I am glad to be of assistance. Mr. Stark, there's a Harold Hogan online. Hi, for you. it's good to see you. I hope you're ready for Mandarin, because he's no pushover. Mr. Stark, Their advanced technology that Mandarin took from the wreckage of an alien starship. He adapted them to serve as weapons. They offer a wide range of attacks, from force fields to ice blasts to disintegration beams. They make Mandarin a very dangerous man. That's a robot created by Mandarin to battle Iron Man. It's huge from what I hear. Ultimo's programmed to destroy all life in its path. The skin covering the robot is virtually indestructible, and its power source is nearly limitless. Ah, that's right. No problem. All right. Hey, Spider-Man, what's the word? Grease. No problem. 
Well, if you say so. Moon Knight. Venom. Time for some fun stuff. Hello, Deadpool. Black Widow. I've got to know. Are those real? <gasps> I beg your pardon? Uh, your teeth. Are they real? They're just so darn shiny and straight. You are most welcome. That password you gave me worked like a charm. I had no problems getting into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s database. You are gonna love this. The Imperium, it's a S.H.I.E.L.D. think tank. You know, one of those places where they get geniuses together? Uh, no. But I can find out by hacking into the S.H.I.E.L.D. priority database. But I need help from one of the few guys who can crack that code. C.B. Sobolski, or a guy named Baroge. I need you to talk to Hank Pym and find out which of those two guys I can trust. Hey, what up? They are the creme de la creme of computer geeks. C.B. and Baroge are the only two guys who've made their way into S.H.I.E.L.D. files. Well, and live to tell about it. I'd like to think there's honor amongst thieves, but uh, either one of those guys could turn me in, just for, just for the fun of it. <sighs> it's not like I got something better to do. Glad we were able to help the Atlanteans. While Namor is somewhat headstrong, he is a good ruler. You are quite welcome. Hi, can I help you? Anytime, friend. Hi, what's new? Yes. Bullseye attacked me to prove that he should be the Kingpin's number one assassin. In the end, he killed me with my own sigh. Several people tried to resurrect me. Eventually, someone succeeded. But it was Daredevil who really saved me. He gave me back my soul. Come back anytime. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to seeing Mandarin again. It's gonna be like old times. Oh yeah. Me and Mandarin go way back. I've been locked up in his palace so many times I thought about having my mail forwarded there. A genius, psychotic, delusional, and out to kill me with a vengeance. It all started when I was kidnapped back in my youth. My heart was damaged and my kidnapper refused to get me medical treatment until I created weapons for him. No. Another scientist and I designed armor that would keep my heart beating as well as help us get away. The armor worked, but my friend died during the escape. Yes. For the longest time, I wore a chest plate that acted as a pacemaker. No, my condition was corrected, and now my heart is fine. Anytime, my friend. Greetings. I trust all went well in Atlantis. All this commotion with the S.H.I.E.L.D. personnel has me somewhat flustered, I'm afraid. And then there's the matter of the seedy characters lurking about. Yes, I find this Mr. Weasel to be quite unnerving. 
You never know when he's gonna pop up next. Not to worry. The shield personnel will not find out about him from me. They haven't set foot in this area. I think Colonel Fury and his people prefer to stay near their equipment. You have my solemn word on it. It was my pleasure. Hey, if that's what you want. Okie doke. Hey, how's it going? That it's a think tank? Yeah. But the big question is, what are they thinking about? Well, are they good guys who are helping humanity? Or are they bad guys who are coming up with new reality shows for TV? Ah, it's the same old story you've heard a hundred times. Boy gets bit by radioactive spider, boy gets spider superpowers, boy becomes world's most popular crime fighter. You know how it goes. Yes, way. Only problem is, I can't spin webs. I had to create wrist devices to do that. You wouldn't believe how expensive web fluid is. Can't say that I'm a big fan. Maybe it's my loner state of mind, but large military groups like S.H.I.E.L.D. make me very paranoid. Maybe I'm just jealous of their limitless budget. I mean, they have their massive helicarrier and Omega base. I don't even have a Spidey mobile. Now you know me. I'm just here to help. Sure. All right. Sure. Why not? Gee, back for some more witty conversation? Yeah, you know me. Well, if you say so. Hey, bub. What's up? Sure thing, bub. see you. I hope you're ready for me. Zabolsky? Oh yeah. I knew him back at MIT. A real computer genius. Too bad he ran with the hacker crowd. On a dare, CB tapped into the financial system of a major electric company and gave everyone 50 cents off their next bill. <laughs> yeah, but I've got to hand it to CB. He never gave up the names of the other hackers he worked with even when he was threatened with jail. No. Try Vision. I bet he'd know. No problem. Welcome. Do you have a question? Barroge. Yes. He is a computer criminal from Canada, wanted in several countries for ID theft. Definitely. Barroge has executed several very sophisticated crimes. But I- He is not trustworthy. No. Barroge, definitely. Barroge has executed several very sophisticated crimes. But I would recommend you stay away from him. He is not trustworthy. The last time he was caught, Barroge gave the authorities the names of his accomplices in exchange for his freedom. No. But Hank Pym might. I am glad to-
Hello, Deadpool. Black Widow. I've gotta know. Are those real? <gasps> I beg your pardon? Uh, your teeth. Are they real? They're just so darn shiny and straight. You are most welcome. Colonel Fury, Red Rome is on line six. Warning, a small thermal nuclear device is missing, and Deadpool was last seen in the weapons lab. Hi, can I take you somewhere? Loki, are you certain your ploy in Atlantis worked? My good doctor, how could you doubt the god of mischief? My performance as Mandarin was flawless. Rest assured, the heroes will travel to the Valley of Spirits. I wonder who will be the worst for this confrontation. The heroes or Mandarin? It matters not, so long as one of them pays the ultimate price. The traitorous Mandarin will most likely meet his demise. But not without destroying several of Fury's lackeys first. Indeed. I would find it most enjoyable if my dear brother Thor were to fall in battle. Long as he been a thorn in my side. Oh, don't look so sad, Enchantress. When our ultimate plan is realized, you will find others more worthy of your attention than Thor. I should hope so, Loki. Still, it saddens me that Thor must die. He is truly a god to be admired. That pompous fool's overdeveloped physique is nothing compared to my conniving intellect. Oh, I have longed to crush his self-righteous countenance beneath my booted heel. Silence! All of you. My scanners show the heroes are in the Valley of Spirits. We have set the stage. And the players have arrived. Now, let us watch and see who will survive this tale of deception. Excellent. Now all you have to do is track down Mandarin and see what he knows about the Masters of Evil. If you say so. Take a picture! Huh. 
You are officially a loser. Sure thing. Just what I was thinking.
say so.
Wolverine does.
just what I was thinking. Yeah, sure. That's a big ten four. If you say so. Why not? Got it. Just what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. so far into Mandarin's palace. You survived Ultimo and Dragon Man. That is most impressive. I too have my share of surprises, for I am the Grey Gargoyle. And with but a touch, I can turn you to stone. What you want is of no importance, my friend. You have gone too far, and now you must pay the penalty with your life.
I have to...
wish we could have been So, still you persist in this foolish quest of attacking me in my palace? Very well then. I will unleash my latest creation, the Ultima Mark II. Correct. Its enriched titanium casing is laced with vibranium, and the servo motors are 300% stronger than the previous model. So you see, it will be quite impossible for you to destroy this robot.
gonna happen. fortuitous that you chose to arrive when you did. Mandarin's minions were becoming quite bothersome. A precious magical item known as the Orb of Agamotto was stolen from me. I managed to track it to this location. I do not know how Mandarin intends to use it, but I must retrieve the orb immediately. Splendid. Let's team up and see what we can find, shall we?
you do.
We've located the orb. In return for aiding me, I will now make myself available to join your team, should you require my talents. defeated those incompetent louts throughout my palace. But now you will face the power of the Mandarin! You shall soon learn the foolishness of such a father. My wings of power will annihilate you. Yeah. 
Welcome back from Mandarin's Palace. It looks like the Masters of Evil managed to pull a fast one on us and kidnap two X-Men, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. For the next part of the operation, we're moving our headquarters to another location. When you're ready to go, talk to Mr. Wingfoot. You have the Ultimo schematics. Good work. The lab coats are gonna spend weeks looking at these. Hurry up. Once you're through here, we need to move out. Talk to Mr. Wing. Hello, Deadpool. Black Widow. <gasps> you are... Hey, what up? Hello, my friend. You are... Hi, can I... Any... Hi, what's... Huh. I can't tell you how much I'm looking... And... Greetings. I trust it. Greetings, my friends, and welcome to my home, the Sanctum Sanctorum. I realize an aging townhouse in Greenwich Village doesn't quite match the opulence of Stark Tower, but I think you'll find it comfortable. The rest of our team has already moved in. I would suggest you talk to Colonel Fury first. He has information concerning our next mission.
Team, welcome to our new headquarters, the home of Dr. Stephen Strange. We moved because now that Loki's involved, we're gonna need magic. And there's no better place on Earth for magic than the Sanctum Sanctorum. Professor Xavier has located one of his X-Men in Dr. Doom's castle. That means Latveria is your next stop. For more info, talk to Black Widow. You're free to explore your new HQ, but when you're ready to start the mission, use the Orb of Teleportation near Wong. Things were a little touch and go at Mandarin's palace, but the team did a good job. I'm sure you'll have no trouble in Latveria. I invited him because he's the only one who can locate the missing X-Men quickly. Xavier is one of the most powerful telepaths on Earth. And there's that added incentive that he's the leader of the X-Men. Shield analysts think it has something to do with the theft of the mutant amplifier from the Omega base. If the mutant amplifier were used on Nightcrawler, he could teleport anywhere in the world. <laughs> and with Jean Grey, well, I hate to think what could happen. If her psychic powers were augmented and then she transformed into the Phoenix, she could tear the Earth apart without giving it a second thought. It was originally created to battle Hydra, a terrorist organization run by Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. Yes, there was a time when S.H.I.E.L.D. became so large it suffered from traitors within the organization. But with people like the Black Widow in key positions, we'll never have that problem again. No problem. Whatever. Things were a little touch and go at Mandarin's palace. No problem. Okie doke. Hello. Welcome to the Sanctum Sanctorum. Our new headquarters. Well, Loki's ploy worked. He tricked us into going to Mandarin's palace, leaving Doom free to kidnap Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Yes. He is somewhere in the Castle Doom, and that is exactly where you are headed. I would advise extreme caution. Doctor Doom is not to be underestimated. When you are ready to leave, use the Orb of Teleportation near Wang. Located in Latveria's capital city, it looks like nothing more than a medieval castle, but it houses some of the most advanced technology on Earth. Doom prefers to use robots for security. These Doombots, as they are called, closely resemble the man who created them. They were visiting Dr. Moira McTaggart on Muir Island when an army led by Ultron attacked. Not seriously. Ultron's team did not waste time with unnecessary battle. They fought their way into the lab area, trapped the X-Men in containment fields, and then teleported out. Originally, I was a ballerina, but at the news of my husband's death, I became a spy for the KGB. I discovered the truth, that my husband was alive. He had become an agent known as the Red Guardian, and his superiors wished him to sever all ties to his past. It was no trouble at all. Yes. Do you require additional information? It was no trouble at all. Yeah, yeah. Wolverine. Welcome to our new headquarters. I don't know about you, but this place gives me the creeps. It was no trouble at all. That's a big 10 for. Hi, what can I do for you? That's the Orb of Teleportation. It's for transporting people to different locations. Yes, I guess since he's the Sorcerer Supreme, He's the only one who could create such a powerful, magical item. Ah, don't worry about it. Did you need something else? Ah, don't worry about it. Hello, I am Wong, Doctor Strange's assistant. 
It is a mystical device recently created by Doctor Strange. It aids him in reaching the dark dimension where his friend Cleo resides. Not at all. Once I have attuned it to the proper location, you may use it any time you like. This is the Sanctum Sanctorum. It is built upon a focal point for supernatural energies and is the home of my teacher, Doctor Strange. This is where Doctor Strange conducts various experiments into the mystical world. It also houses his vast collection of occult objects. It was no trouble at all. Yeah. Oh, it's you, Spider-Man. Hey, you, Nick. How you doing, pal? No problem. Okie doke. Disturb my meditation. Grampy, is that you? Wow, you got a lot older and uglier too. You buffoon, I am not your grandfather. I am the ancient one, teacher of Doctor Strange. Are you sure? You're really grouchy, just like Grampy was. Yes, I am quite certain I am not related to you, you idiot. Gee, Grampy used to call me that. Usually, after I woke him up from a nap by shoving an ice cube down the back of his shirt. Please be silent! I know you heroes have banded together to battle the masters of evil. Let Doctor Strange know that I will be watching over you. I'll tell him. Thanks, Grampy! Yeah, yeah. Sure. Who oh, is it correct? Who oh, is it that disturbs my meditation? Ah, I see my student, Doctor Strange, has allied himself with an impressive group of individuals. Correct. And no doubt, there must be grave danger in the world for one such as you to have banded together. Tell Doctor Strange that his master shall keep a watchful eye on the situation. That's a big 10-4. I wonder if I could impose on you to locate the book entitled, A History of the Arcane. Wong said it would be located somewhere in this house. Latveria is a tiny country in Europe, located near Hungary. It's a haven for gypsies, one of the few people Dr. Doom takes an interest in. Surprisingly well, there's virtually no crime because the country is patrolled by an army of robots. And thanks to Doom's genius in weaponry, Latveria is considered by many to be a superpower. He's the son of Lothi, king of the Frost Giants. Odin took the infant Loki as his own son after defeating Lothi in battle. Yes, but as the two boys grew, so did Loki's hatred of Thor and his desire to rule Asgard. You're welcome. The Masters of Evil recently abducted two of my X-Men, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Colonel Fury has placed a priority on saving them. Apparently, he feels that by locating the wayward X-Men, you will also uncover the headquarters of the Masters of Evil. Yes, with the aid of Cerebro, I've discovered Nightcrawler is in Latveria. 
Nightcrawler's location really comes as no surprise, although I must admit I'm puzzled as to why Jean isn't with him. But there's no time to hesitate. To get to Latveria, use Doctor Strange's Orb of Teleportation. It will send you there instantly. This is an uplink beast created, so that I can access all of Cerebro's functions, even though I'm miles away. It's a large device located in the sub-basement of the X-Mansion. I use it to locate mutants around the world. No, but it can be dangerous to the untrained mind. That's why I will only allow the most experienced of telepaths to use it. Jean Grey and Emma Frost are both quite skilled at working with Cerebro. His real name is Kurt Wagner, and he's perhaps the kindest soul I've ever met. Hailing from Germany, he is devoutly religious, despite his somewhat devilish appearance. Oh yes, he's been with the team for years. His mutant ability to teleport has saved the X-Men hundreds of times. Jean is quite a talented telepath, and very powerful at telekinetics, more so than she realizes. And that power carries a grave danger. If she expends too much energy, there is a chance her personality will be consumed by the Phoenix. The Phoenix is a malevolent entity, capable of great destruction. Of course, come back anytime. Yeah, sure. Greetings, Bobby. I trust you're learning from this rather unique group of individuals. You bet, Professor. Man, the things Ghost Rider can do with those chains. And when Deadpool gets going with that katana, wow, talk about messy. Yes, perhaps you could shift your focus to Black Panther or Captain America. Of course. Got it. Wolverine, how are you? I hate to admit it, but I'm a little off my game. I can't take thinking about what Doom might be doing to Nightcrawler. And Gene, the guy's a psycho. The best thing you can do for them is to focus on the task at hand. If we are to save them, you need to be at the peak of your abilities. Yeah, I suppose you're right. But if Doom hurts them in any way, I'm gonna show him a whole new world of pain. Of course. Just what I was thinking. None shall enter this room unless they are accompanied by Dr. Strange. Let's rip them up. Yes. Greetings, Wong. Quite a legendary group of visitors we have here at the Sanctum Sanctorum. Yes. This is a truly historic occasion. I have never before seen such an impressive team of superheroes. Quite right. But then, the world has never before been threatened by such a malevolent collection of villains as the Masters of Evil. I find it disconcerting that a man of Dr. Doom's brilliant intellect is capable of leading such an infamous group. I do as well, my friend. Were Doom to direct his talents towards the good of mankind, there's no telling what benefits would be gained. Are there any indications as to what the Masters of Evil are planning? None whatsoever. But I should think it to be something most diabolical, with Dr. Doom as their leader. Okie doke. Hello. Well, well, yes. It was... Yes. Do... It was... Huh. 
pose like you mean it, team. Greetings, humans. I am Clea, Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension and friend to Doctor Strange. Yes, but be wary. This is where Doctor Strange stores arcane objects. Most are harmless, but some could prove quite dangerous. Hey, that name you gave me, C.B. Sobolski, was perfect. Yeah, he said all I need was a shield security module. Would you mind talking to the Vision? I bet he has one. Hello, how are you? You mean because of the laptop we found on the helicarrier? No, it's impossible. Black Widow is a lot of things. But she's not a traitor. I know, because I fought beside her, and I've been romantically involved with her. And on a more practical side, she doesn't act like she's lying. A person's heart rate changes when they lie, and Natasha's heart is steady as ever. She has to be telling the truth. Yes. That's one of the side effects of having radioactive waste dumped on me as a kid. It blinded me, but it also heightened my other senses. I now have a radar-like ability to give me a mental picture of my surroundings. That was because a martial artist named Stick trained me how to use my new abilities. Oddly enough, Stick's also blind. Anytime. Hi, how are you? Oh, you must have seen how Jarvis reacted to me at Stark Tower. It's a pheromone thing. I'm still learning how to control it. Yes, you see, I transmit a chemical that makes men very attracted to me. It gets a lot worse when I'm under stress, like during battle. None whatsoever. I'm not his sister, I'm not his cousin he gave blood to, and his powers were never accidentally transferred to me. Well, he is cute in a geeky sort of way, but with his sense of humor, I prefer to keep my distance. Mostly because I have enhanced strength and can stick to walls like the web slinger, but also I have the power to generate bioelectric venom blasts. No, he also hasn't had the training in hand-to-hand -hand combat that I've had. You bet. Hey, did you see that Professor Xavier's here? With him on the case, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler are as good as free. <laughs> hey, come on. This is Professor Charles Xavier we're talking about. The guy's never wrong. If they'd been kidnapped by almost any other villain, I'd be fine. But this is Dr. Doom. He doesn't play nice. No, but the guy's super smart. And with brains like his, he's got all the superpowers he needs. What's not to be proud of? Look at the people I work with. Cyclops, Beast, Colossus, Emma Frost. They're all heavy hitters at the top of their game. Oh, he is one in a billion. Dignified, intelligent, and tough as nails when he has to be. He's the only one who could lead a group like the X-Men. I'm sure she had a perfectly good reason to be lugging that laptop around in the middle of a battle. Even if she was awfully close to Doom's troops. Look, she can't be guilty, okay? And you know why? Because she's really hot and I don't want her to be guilty. Be cool. Greetings. I trust you have spoken with Clea about the dark magic she senses? I now sense it as well. It is difficult to tell. The magic waits like a creature on the hunt. It lurks in the dark 
waiting for its moment to pounce. I'm sorry. All I know for certain is that this dark magic is the work of my arch nemesis, Baron Mordo. Long ago, I had been a doctor of surgery and injured my hands in a car accident. While searching for a cure, I met the Ancient One. Yes, but at the time his student was Baron Mordo. I discovered Mordo intended to steal the Ancient One's power, and I helped to stop him. Since then, Mordo and I have been bitter enemies. He grew up in the Himalayan mountains some 500 years ago. There he was trained in the mystic arts, but was ultimately forced to battle his treacherous master. The young man then dedicated his life to fighting dark magic and joined the Order of the Ancient Ones. He outlived his compatriots and feared he would die without finding an apprentice. Then he met me. You're quite welcome. Humans, I would warn you, dark magic is stalking this house, waiting to pounce like a wolf in the night. Doctor Strange's most powerful enemy, Baron Mordo. My name is Clea. I am the Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension. Yes, we are quite well acquainted. Years back, Stephen brought me to Earth, and I became his student. Once I had learned all I could, I returned to my dimension to free it from the corrupt rule of my mother. All I can tell you is, this house, the Sanctum Sanctorum, is the focal point of an immense evil energy. That is what most concerns me. It is happening now. Even as we speak, like a menacing vulture, it hovers waiting to strike. A vile dark sorcerer who has long been a rival of Stevens. And though he has great inborn magical powers, Mordo is no match for the mystical might of Doctor Strange. Long ago, Mordo pretended to be a student of the Ancient One, all the time plotting to take his power. Stephen discovered Mordo's deception and attempted to warn the Ancient One. Of course. Greetings, human. Do you have another question for me? Uh It's as if I can't go this way! You found the book. Thank you. This should help improve my knowledge of the mystical realm. The one for accessing shield data? Yes, I still have it. I suppose there's no harm in that. You're welcome. Man. Somebody take a picture.
Well, what have we here? Oh, a brand new XJ9 shield security module. Sweet! Now I can do some serious hacking. Do you honestly think any of you can hide from a super hacker like me? There is nowhere on Earth you can go that I can't track you down. Actually, Deadpool told me. Well, I climbed up a drain pipe and crawled in through a window. Then, a plant tried to eat me and, and some tentacles tried to drag me into another dimension. Just wait till you get my bill. Nothing new. Far as I know, it's a think tank run by S.H.I.E.L.D. But I'm looking to find out exactly what it is they're thinking about. Well, I bet she's working for the other team. But we'll know more once I hack into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Black Ops network and get full info on the organization. Ha <laughs> you can thank me later. With cash. Hey, what's up? What can I do? Baron Mordo, I trust all is in order. Our guests will be arriving soon, and I would hate to be ill-prepared. You can rest assured, I have taken all the necessary steps. Ha! <laughs> An infant could have cast better spells. The heroes have detected your magic and suspect something is afoot. They cannot possibly know the true meaning of the enchantments. I'd stake my life on it. Be careful what you wager. Loki, leave the good Baron alone. What does it matter if the heroes suspect? They will still be ensnared by the trap. For his sake, they'd best be. I'm taking a grave risk being associated with the masters of evil. Make no mistake, my friend. We all stand to lose much if we fail. Which is why I'm certain Baron Mordo will achieve success. But I would warn you, Baron. My faith only goes so far. Failure will not be tolerated, and the penalty will be most... unpleasant. What of the mutant amplifier we stole from the Omega base? Does it work? Yes. Even better than I dare hope. But time is now a factor in our plans. Why is that? The mutant amplifier is quite destructive. If we do not move swiftly, the X-Man we kidnapped will die. Ooh, you surprise me, Dr. Doom. Why do you care for the health of the mutant? I don't. An early death would hinder our plans. But make no mistake, death for the X-Man is inevitable. You must know you're there. Watch yourselves. There could be a trap around any corner. And remember, your primary mission is to retrieve Nightcrawler and Jean Grey. Once they're safe, find out whatever you can about the Masters of Evil's next move. On a side note, Senator Kelly was abducted in the middle of the night. The really odd thing is, a jack-in-the-box was left in his place. I have no idea, but keep your eyes open and see if you can find any information on the Senator's location. Oh! <laughs> 
Well, if you say so. Ah! <laughs> 
this direction. So stop pushing. <laughs> this direction, so stop pushing. <laughs> I suppose Professor Xavier sent you to save me. Well, he shouldn't have bothered. I am very different. For the first time in my life, I'm free. Free to use my powers without being restrained by Xavier and all the rest of you. He told me you'd say something like that. And he also told me the truth. He said you fear me, because I'm more powerful than any of you. Liar! Everyone has tried to stop me from exploring just how powerful I am. Well, I think it's about time I found out, don't you? later. <laughs> Hello, heroes. This is your old buddy, Arcade. I hope you're ready for a fun-filled day at Murder World, because I've got some killer events lined up. I know you've been running yourselves ragged trying to stop Dr. Doom. So I spoke to Baron Mordo. He was able to divert your teleportation spell to my little land of fun and assassination. The 
see how tense you are? This little vacation is just what you need. And remember, no one ever leaves Murder World unhappy because no one ever leaves Murder World alive! <laughs> been saying all along. You meta-humans are nothing but self-serving vigilantes. How do I know you didn't stage this whole event so that I'd be grateful to you? All right, all right. What should I do? Thank you. And I suppose I should apologize for my rude behavior. But you have to understand, a man in my position can't afford to trust anyone. My dear, dear friends, you're wasting your time trying to save me. You should be worried about saving yourselves. Liar! Arcade isn't controlling me. He set me free. He wants me to use my powers to their fullest. Then it looks like Arcade is going to get what he wants. Oh, well, 
You still have your uses. Temper, temper. That's no way to enjoy your day at the park. Why don't you test your video game skills and see if you can save your friend? But watch out. There's going to be a few pitfalls along the way. I 
Wolverine, I just had the strangest dream. I was trying to kill you at a carnival. Look around, Red. It wasn't no dream. Somehow that nutball arcade was controlling you. Are you alright now? Other than a few bumps and bruises, I'm fine. I hate to rush you, 
But if you got any idea where they're keeping Nightcrawler? The last time I saw Kurt, Dr. Doom had him hooked up to some kind of power amplifier. That must be that mutant amplifier they swiped from the Omega base. I do remember Arcade was there with Doom. If you can find Arcade, I'm sure he can tell you where Nightcrawler is. Sounds like a plan, Genie. You stay here and rest up. We're gonna track down Arcade and have a few laughs with him. Sure. If I can't go this way. what I was thinking.
else want some? Got it. <laughs> That's a big ten four. Sure. Well. Did I get here? And speaking of that, where is here? What would a loser like Arcane want with me? Doom, huh? Any idea what he's up to? Now this is starting to sound interesting. Tell you what, I'm joining the team. If you need me, just let me know. Cause there's nothing I'd rather do than take down Victor Von Doom. Direction, so stop pushing. It's as if I can't go this way. Nope.
could have been friends. Uh, this gets brought up at my next review.
kids. Welcome to a little pinball game I call Sudden Death. It's been a smashing success with everyone who's played it. Rest in peace. Indeed I do. And of course, I'll only run a fair game. So all you have to do is get one million points to win. How can that be? I can see you're anxious to play. So, get ready, get set, go! Sure. I'm gonna flatten you into the dirt. 
Are you trying to make me mad? Because that's exactly what you don't want to do. That does it. When I'm done, there won't be enough of you left to fill a thimble. If you say <laughs> that's a big four. Prepare yourself for the Duke of Destruction, the King of Sting. The one, the only, Shocker! Can't say I care much for being in this big pinball machine, but I do like being paid to bust up you freaks. Oh, you're a real laugh riot, you know that? But we'll see who's laughing after I've shattered every bone in your body. Could have been friends. <laughs> Move fast, cause it's time for multi ball. Sure. <laughs> That's a big ten four.
Okie doke. Take a picture! Officially a loser.
you kids had a fun day at the park. You have no idea how much your mother and I had to scrimp and save so we could afford to send you here. Well, I can see someone's getting cranky, but that's okay. I've got a little something here that should quiet you down. Permanently!
wanted to use the mutant amplifier on him. Did it do use the mutant amplifier on Nightcrawler to open portals to Mephisto's realm? And before you ask, I don't know why he wanted to go there. That was a nice job in Murder World. You turned a potential disaster into a successful mission. That dark magic Clea had sensed was Mordo's spell waiting to divert the orb of teleportation. But Wong's corrected the problem. It won't happen again. Yes. Xavier's discovered that Arcade was telling the truth. Doom used the mutant amplifier on Nightcrawler to open a portal to Mephisto's realm. It's a dimension of fire and brimstone. And it's where you're headed next. For more information, talk to Professor Xavier. Or, if you're ready to go now, use the Orb of Teleportation. This next mission is going to be your most difficult yet. Mephisto's realm is not a place people visit willingly. But to save Nightcrawler's life, and to find out what the Masters of Evil are doing, it is where you must go. It is an alternate dimension, filled with all types of nightmarish creatures. And in this land, Mephisto reigns supreme. He watches over the astral energy of people he has duped into making deals with him. Yes, for Mephisto, there is no greater joy than ensnaring a good person in a bad bargain. Take Ghost Rider, for instance. He was willing to exchange his astral spirit with Mephisto in return for saving his stepfather from cancer. Mephisto then allowed the stepfather to die in a motorcycle accident. No one good, I can assure you. There is the vampire goddess Lilith, and Zarathos, the entity that had been a part of Ghost Rider. But perhaps worst of all is Blackheart. The son of Mephisto. Count yourself lucky if you are able to avoid him. You are quite welcome. All right. Wolverine, are you ready for this mission to Mephisto's realm? Don't care what I gotta slice my way through. Ain't nothing gonna stop me from saving Nightcrawler. You are quite welcome. Sure. Okie doke. That was a nice job in Murder World. He turned a potential disaster into a successful mission. I don't know. It makes no sense. Mephisto and Doom have been enemies a long time. For years, on every Midsummer's Eve, Doctor Doom attempted to invade Mephisto's realm and retrieve his mother. When Doom was very young, his mother made a pact with Mephisto. She promised her astral spirit in return for the power to destroy a baron who was impoverishing her people. Right. She couldn't control the power and wound up killing almost everyone in her village. She died shortly after and became the prisoner of Mephisto. Yes, oddly enough, Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange teamed up and went to Mephisto's realm. Together, they freed Cynthia Von Doom. Without a doubt, the Tome of Asarius listed the coordinates of Mephisto's realm. With that information, Doom could properly attune Nightcrawler's teleportation portal. Anytime. All right. Spider-Man, I suppose it's good to see you. We just don't spend enough time together, Nick. When are you going to come over to my place for a barbecue? Anytime. 
just what I was thinking. Greetings. I apologize for not giving you my full attention. Using Cerebro to locate Nightcrawler requires a great deal of effort. Yes, he's definitely in Mephisto's realm. I've even managed a small amount of communication with him. It seems the mutant amplifier is causing him a great deal of pain. I'm afraid not. Generating a portal to Mephisto's realm has far exceeded Kurt's abilities. He's no longer able to teleport at all. Yes, he believes the Masters of Evil are intent on stranding him in Mephisto's realm once their business is concluded. But there is currently a far more pressing danger. A creature named Blackheart is stalking Kurt. You're quite welcome. Whatever. Yes, can I help you? You're quite welcome. Just what I was thinking. I apologize that the Orb of Teleportation sent you to Murder World. I should have foreseen Baron Mordo's treachery. Perhaps. I find that I must ask a favor of you. While you are in Mephisto's realm, if you should locate the Eye of the Shadow Queen, would you bring it to me? Rest assured that the orb will now take you to the proper destination. The spells required to counteract Baron Mordo's magic were quite difficult. I found it to be an intriguing test of my skills. That was a spell Baron Mordo had cast to disrupt the Orb of Teleportation. It was designed to activate immediately after anyone used the Orb. Correct. It is a testament to Mordo's skill that he was able to cloak the spell's true function from Clea and Doctor Strange. It is a talisman of value to no one but me. The bauble serves as a reminder of a creature who caused me a great deal of turmoil. She had me abducted and taken to her dimension. It required the combined might of Doctor Strange and myself to destroy her. It is a pleasure to be of service. Hi, what can I do for you? It was built by S.H.I.E.L.D. to analyze mutant DNA and augment whatever innate powers a mutant has. But the amplifier never got past the testing phase because of the side effects. The device was so powerful, it had a way of burning out test subjects. Any mutant that used it usually wound up in the hospital for a couple of weeks. You know me. I'm just here to help. Hello, Deadpool. How was your mission to Murder World? The rides were killer, but I'm a little bummed they didn't get a t-shirt. Despite his appearance, he is not truly a demon. He is most likely a shapeshifter, or very skilled in casting spells that change his appearance. In his own dimension, he is practically invulnerable, and he commands a great number of powerful entities such as Blackheart and Zarathos to do his bidding. Though he is called Mephisto's son, Blackheart was created out of negative energy. This energy was generated by violent crimes that occurred in the same spot over a period of centuries. Mephisto decided such a violent creature would make an excellent protege. He took Blackheart under his wing and began to school him in the fine art of corrupting innocent souls. He is a vile creature who would consume the astral energy of his victims. His power grew to such a point that he drew Mephisto's attention. The two battled, and Mephisto won. Yes, so much so that Mephisto sent him to Earth and bound him to different humans. Eventually, Zorathos was bound to Johnny Blaze, and thus was the birth of Ghost Rider. The one for accessing shield data? I suppose there's... Come back any time. Yeah, sure. Greetings, Iceman. 
Good luck on your mission to Mephisto's realm. Thanks, Vision. For some reason, I have a very bad feeling about this next one. Come back anytime. Okie doke. Who dead? Grampy! Is that you? You buffoon! Are you sure? Yes. Gee, Grampy used to call me that. Please be silent! I'll tell him. Thanks, Grampy! Ghost Rider. Hey, let's go punch somebody. Got it. Blade, are you ready to travel to Mephisto's realm? Can't say I'm anxious about it. Mephisto's no lightweight, but yeah, I'm ready. Anytime. Sure. Hello, and welcome back from Murder World. Do you require information? He is a vile creature who would consume the astral... Yes. So much so that m come back any time. Hey, Ghost Rider, how was Murder World? Not as much fun as it sounds, Dr. Pym. You know me. Well, if you say so. Hey, congratulate me. I managed to hack into the S.H.I.E.L.D. database and get more info. I found out that S.H.I.E.L.D.'s think tank, the Imperium, is working on something called Project Warlord. I'm not sure, but I've got bigger problems. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s hot on my trail and I've gotta hide. There's only two places I figure I can go. The Baxter Building or the X-Mansion. Ask Pim which one would be safer. What's going on? I don't know. And believe me, I looked everywhere I could. S.H.I.E.L.D. is dead serious about keeping that information from prying eyes. Well, there's one thing I can try. But first, I've got to avoid getting caught by S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm not going to do anybody any good stuck in a super high-tech maximum security prison. Because I've been running through their database like a rabbit in a carrot patch. They don't like that much. Hey, they sent two dozen agents into the building I'd been using as a base. If I hadn't decided to run out and grab a latte just before that, I'd be in custody right now. I'm just in it for the money. Hello, what's new? I guess since we're all superheroes here, I can talk about it. Yes, I'm Matthew Murdoch, the trial lawyer. It's a little more complicated than that. The Kingpin hired Electra to assassinate Foggy, but she stopped once she realized who he was. It was a big turning point in her life. That started when I was a kid in grade school. The bullies called me that because I was such a bookworm. I think they were trying to be ironic. Yeah, my father was adamant that I study as hard as possible. He didn't want me to become a boxer like he was. Yep, Battling Jack Murdoch was his name. A good fighter who was maybe a little too proud. 
His manager killed him for not throwing a fight. It was because of me. I was in the audience, and I know he couldn't bear to lose in front of me. Sure thing. Hello. It's good to see you. Do you need something? Well, I used to work for Hydra, but when they sent me out to kill Nick Fury, I figured out I was working for the wrong team. Not quite. I went off on my own and played superhero in San Francisco. Then I died, and that put a damper on things. Doctor Strange was brought in. He saved me, but because of the spells he cast, I lost my powers. I was completely normal. I became a private eye for a while, but then Hydra came around and offered to restore my powers. Of course I did. I was nothing without my powers. But once I got them back, Hydra forced me to join Shield as a double agent, or they would have taken my powers away again. No, not really. The joke was on Hydra. I was working for Colonel Fury all along. My pleasure. Yeah, I gotta say, Mephisto's realm is not on the top of my must-see vacation spots. Hmm, let's think about this, shall we? I'm Iceman, and that's Lava World. Not exactly a winning combination in my book. Sorry, I guess I'm afraid I might become a head case in a place like that. Well, there have been times I've lost my powers because I got scared and just turned them off. Miss Frost says all my power problems are in my head. Well, she must know something. One time she took control of my powers and used them at a whole new level. I've never been able to match what she did. If you need anything else, I'll just be here chilling. I would warn you, Mephisto's realm is a vile dimension. Few that have traveled there ever return to tell the tale. Our own Doctor Strange, the mightiest sorcerer on Earth, barely escaped that fiery land with his life. Yes. Years ago, Stephen traveled there to aid Doctor Doom. In a Vishanti contest to choose the next supreme sorcerer of Earth, Doctor Doom came in second to Doctor Strange. According to the rules of the competition, the runner-up is allowed to ask one favor of the winner. They are Agamotto, Hoggoth, and Ashtor, a mystical trinity who appoint one sorcerer to protect this universe from evil. Little is known of the Vashanti, other than choosing a new Sorcerer Supreme, they rarely show interest in your cosmos. You're welcome, human. We must be truly wary of Mephisto's realm. The denizens of that land are without mercy. Several times. Perhaps most notably when Doctor Doom and I battled Mephisto to free Doom's mother. Doom was willing to offer me in exchange for his mother, but she refused to let that happen. And in that moment, her spirit became too pure for Mephisto. He then released her from his domain. Yes, I would consider the Eye of Agamotto to be the most valuable of all my arcane artifacts. It not only augments my power, but it allows me to see the truth. There is no lie or illusion that can stand before its illuminating light. My cloak of levitation has proven to be quite valuable. In times of battle, it can even function as another set of hands for me. 
I also frequently require the Book of the Vishanti for spells and the Orb of Agamotto to search for trouble. You're quite welcome. Magneto. Spider-Man. Magneto. About time we got rolling. Xavier, this alternate dimension may affect our powers. I trust your superior mental abilities have considered this before sending us here. Is this another one of your attempts to maroon me? Neutralize me? Need I remind you that Nightcrawler is depending on you to save him? You appeal to my love of our kind, Charles. I suppose that one of your prize pupils is worth more to this world alive. And I cannot stand idly by while the power of a member of my species is corrupted by some human. Excellent. Now I urge you to move quickly. My psychic power is waning, and I cannot protect Nightcrawler much longer. Don't worry, Xavier. I shall return with your precious student. Iceman. Bet I could take Doom all on my own. Team, this next mission takes you to Mephisto's realm. It's an alternate dimension that's filled with fire and brimstone. Ah! Why can't we ever be sent to an alternate dimension filled with lonely supermodels? Because we're going to save Nightcrawler. You got a problem with that? Nope. Sorry. I'll just be quiet now. Best news I heard all day. Why is Nightcrawler in Mephisto's realm? Dr. Doom somehow forced him to teleport a group of them to that dimension. How is that possible? Nightcrawler's abilities were never that strong. They used a device known as a mutant amplifier. It magnified his powers far beyond the norm. What's this amplifier doing to Kurt? We estimate it's overdriven his powers to the point that it's causing physical damage. You have to move fast, or it'll kill him. Do you know why the Masters of Evil are going to this dimension? No. Any knowledge you gain would be helpful. So far, we've been completely in the dark as to what Doom is up to. But Kurt comes first. We ain't risking his life. You got it, bub. I understand, Wolverine. Nightcrawler's safety is the number one priority, so get moving. Oh man, this is exactly where I didn't want to be today. Look at me, I'm already turning into puddles. Robert, I understand your trepidation, but you must remain calm. The heat of Mephisto's realm is of no real threat to you. But this place is all fire and brimstone. I don't know if I can take it. Need I remind you that Nightcrawler is depending on you to save him? You're right, sir. Now isn't the time for me to go mental. I'll keep it in control. Excellent. Now I urge you to move quickly. My psychic power is waning, and I cannot protect Nightcrawler much longer. Hey, I got no problem with moving quickly. The faster, the better. Very good, then. The best of luck to you and your team, Robert. Look! 
This would be where I taught you. We could have been fed.
yeah. I'm the best at what I do. I cannot protect Nightcrawler much longer. My shields are under attack by a creature known as Blackheart. To boost the psychic shields, Jean Grey will be using the Orb of Teleportation to join you. I've made it, Professor Xavier. I'm with the team. Excellent. I would recommend Jean stay where she is, so that she can concentrate on aiding me. Watch yourself, Jean. Not to worry, Professor. I'll create a mental shield of my own. Then the best of luck to us all. I can't chat for long. Helping Professor Xavier is taking all my energy. Did you need something else? He's created a number of barriers to keep Blackheart from getting to Nightcrawler. But Blackheart is slowly tearing them down. Yes, without them, Blackheart would have gotten to Nightcrawler long ago. Since I can't use Cerebro at the same time as Professor Xavier, we decided it would be best for me to be closer to the Shields. I don't know much about him, other than he's supposed to be the son of Mephisto. Blackheart is certainly as sadistic as his father. He enjoys forcing people to make choices they normally wouldn't, choosing the lesser of two evils. My pleasure. Why not? Why not?
That's a big 10 4. Why not? Yeah. Well, if you say so. All right. Say so. Blackheart is proving much stronger than I'd anticipated. He's almost through my last shield around Nightcrawler. Jean, I require your full attention. I'm here, Professor, but I'm under attack by Blackheart's minions. Then protect yourself, Jean. Leave Nightcrawler to me. It's too late. They're through my defenses. I'm sorry, Professor. Jean! Jean! You never stood a chance, Xavier. Now both the X-Men are mine, as will be the rest of your team very Officially a loser. Come <laughs> on. 
could have been friends. If you say so. <laughs>
take a picture. Sure thing. Whatever. That's a big ten four. If you say so. Ghost Rider. Is my mask on straight? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Where am I? And what are you doing here? That's just great. So the only way to free your teammate is to fight Mephisto. I was safer when I was a prisoner. But what the heck? Let's get moving. We don't want to keep Mephisto waiting, do we?
Blade. Iceman. Bet I could take Doom all on my own.
Yeah. Well, if you say so. Stay down.
Stay back. Do not unlock this door. Nightcrawler's cage would fall. I refuse to be the cause of his death. He's a good man, and he deserves to live. Nine, do not open this door. It will cause Jean's cage to fall. Please, if you have any mercy in your heart, do not doom me to a life of guilt. Save Jean. Let me be the one to perish. Why didn't you save Jean? I would have gladly sacrificed myself. You know that and let Jean die. How could you? Nightcrawler, please calm down. This is not the time for a display of anger. You are quite right, Professor. There is a score to settle with Mephisto. No, there is not, Kurt. You are to return to home base at once. I'll not have you jeopardizing this mission. I see. If those are your orders, then I will comply. Yes. Yes, she was. But it is up to you to give her death meaning. Stop the masters of evil before any more lives are lost. Now you feel the pain of the ultimate loss. And no doubt, you seek revenge. Come then, and face me! I will show you an entirely new world of pain when I rip your astral spirit from your body.
Villain is chilling. that resonates in my dimension. And that is more than enough for me to reconstruct your friend. But before I grant you this favor, you must prove yourself worthy by solving the puzzle. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> I do hate to ruin this happy moment, 
But I failed to mention one slight detail. This echo of your friend is all too easy for me to control. Isn't that right, Miss Gray? Quite correct, Lord Mephisto. Now, destroy your friends, that I might take their astral energy. With pleasure. Sorry for attacking you. I'm sorry, but Mephisto was right. I'm just an echo of my real self. I can't leave this dimension. I'm sorry, but I can't leave here. And we have to face facts. You can't defeat Mephisto. But I can. By sacrificing what little energy I have left. Nothing can be done for me now. And I would rather die than spend an eternity here. Take care, my friends. Tell Scott I love him. And tell Logan... Goodbye. All right, Mephisto. I'm done playing games. Get ready to face the power of the Phoenix! Stay back from me! I command you! Stay back! <laughs> Yes, she did. Jean couldn't leave that realm, and she was the only one who could defeat Mephisto. There were no other options left. Now is not the time for sorrow. My friend gave her life to save me and to aid you in your mission. Go. Stop the masters of evil. Do not allow them to achieve success. And Jean Grey will not have died in vain. The loss of Jean Grey is a tragedy. No one believed more deeply in the X-Men's struggle to promote understanding between mutants and humans. And while we may miss Jean as a friend, the world is going to miss her as the rarest type of champion there is. I wish there was additional time to mourn Ms. Grey's death, but from what was heard in Mephisto's realm, we have to get to Asgard quickly. To go to Asgard, use the Orb of Teleportation. When you're done here, you have to get to Asgard. Anytime. This next mission is going to be your most difficult yet, but to save you are. Hello, Deadpool. The rides were killer. 
But I'm a little bummed I didn't get a t-shirt. Who would good what split out? Greetings. I apologize for not giving you my full attention. Yes, you're quite welcome. What's going on? I don't know. And believe me, I looked every- well, I'm just in it for the money. If you aren't nervous about going to Mephisto's realm, you will be when we get there. Probably better than anyone here. It's because of him I became the Ghost Rider. When I learned my stepfather had cancer, I turned to the occult in hopes of making a deal to find a cure. Little did I know, the entity I met had no intention of keeping his part of the bargain. None other than Mephisto. The spells and incantations I learned opened a portal to his dimension. He offered to cure my stepfather in return for my astral spirit. Mephisto let my stepfather die in a motorcycle accident. Because of that, I was able to back out of the deal. Sort of. I wound up bound to Zarathos, which turned me into the Ghost Rider. No. Sometimes I'm just good old Johnny Blaze, professional motorcycle stunt rider. When I was bonded to Zarathos, it happened whenever the sun went down. Then, for a time, it happened whenever I saw injustice. But now that I'm free of that fiend, I've learned to control it. Any time. <laughs> Behold, my tribute to the All-Father. The day of reckoning has arrived! Long have I been denied my rightful place. But now, I have the power to take it! Throne will be mine. <laughs> Look around you, team. 
we're standing in a land very few humans have ever seen. This is the world known as Valhalla. It's where brave Asgardian warriors go when they die. Understand that the only reason we're allowed to make headquarters here is because Asgard has fallen, and they need our help to defeat Doom. Right now, we have two possible missions. First, the gate of the Bifrost Bridge has been locked and needs to be opened. Second, many of the gods are being held prisoner in Asgard. For more information on freeing the prisoners, talk to Lady Sif. To find out about the Bifrost Bridge, talk to Hermod. If you're ready to start now, take the path to Asgard or the portal to Bifrost. Welcome to Valhalla. I'm glad to see you. It's all because of his attack on the Omega base. You remember the super soldier serum he stole? It doesn't if you want troops for more than one battle, but that's all he needed. He created a bunch of those beasts and set them loose on Asgard. There's some theories, but nothing solid yet. Look, right now all we've got are guesses and none of them make sense. So I'm not saying anything until we have solid facts. With so many Asgardians imprisoned, and with Odin out battling the Frost Giants, Sif is now in charge. None of the gods are crazy about us being here. This is a sacred place to them. But they realize there's no choice in the matter. They need our help. You're welcome. I am very sorry to hear about the death of Jean Grey. I am sure you did everything you could. I would think so. The infinity vortex she was thrown into would have killed her instantly. It is the mystical equivalent of a black hole, warping the very fabric of space and time. Some say it can be used as a portal to other dimensions, but that has never been proven. Not well, I am afraid. The X-Men are a tightly knit group. Worst of all, her boyfriend Cyclops has gone missing. Nightcrawler blames himself for Miss Grey's death. He believes he should have been the one to die. It was no trouble at all. Greetings, Wolverine. It is regrettable that Jean Grey was lost. I know she was a close friend of yours. Jeannie was more than a friend. She was one of the few good things on this earth. And now she's gone. Ain't quite sure if I can deal with that. Odin is the most powerful of all gods and the ruler of Asgard. Because of his extreme powers, he is required to rest an entire day once a year in Odin's sleep. Yes, Thor is the son of Odin, as are Vidar and Loki, although Loki was his son by battle, not blood. This is Asgard, a small planetary body in an alternate dimension. It is filled with mystical beings and consists of nine separate worlds, which are joined by special portals. Asgard consists of six major races, the human-like gods, the dwarves, trolls, demons, giants, and elves. Each lay claim to a different world. As young adults, Lady Sif and Thor were very close. This of course angered Loki, so he cut off her golden hair and replaced it with hair as black as night called Strands of Nought. Yes, but Sif has been long perplexed by Thor's affection for Earth. She wonders why a god would waste his time worrying about lesser beings. 
I am pleased to help. Greetings, human. My name is Hermod, and I bring bad news. The Bifrost Bridge is under attack by the Wrecking Crew. I would ask that you travel across the bridge and open the gate to Midgard. Then additional reinforcements will be able to join us. I am Hermod, the fleetest of foot in all of Asgard. Because of my speed, I sometimes act as a messenger for Odin. Yes, I lived there for a short time because of a spell Odin cast. The gods were sent to Earth and given human identities. Bifrost is also known as the Rainbow Bridge. It's the only permanent pathway between Asgard and Midgard, or Earth, as you call it. Normally, the bridge is protected by Heimdall, but he was taken prisoner during the battle for Asgard. They are a group of villains led by a human named Wrecker. He acquired Asgardian powers when he was mistaken for Loki. Yes, as do his cohorts. They have plagued Thor and Asgard many times over the years. Certainly. <laughs> Hi, Deadpool. Hey, aren't you that guy who controls ants? I gotta know, what good's an army of little old blue-haired ladies? Yeah, he unleashed hundreds of them. They overwhelmed the gods and literally tore the city apart. Then Doom came through afterwards, gathered up all the unconscious Asgardians, and made them prisoners. Not really. Doom's troops ran off in all directions after the attack. And he's not going to be making another army anytime soon, since he's used up all the super soldier serum. Those are portals to other Asgardian worlds. You mean will you wind up in Murder World again? Nah, they're perfectly reliable. Even Mordo couldn't mess them up. That thing in Mephisto's realm that the X-Man was dropped into? They're like relief valves between dimensions. There's all kinds of energy flowing through them. Look, I know what you're getting at, but the X-Man is dead. Nothing could survive that kind of pressure. Come back anytime. Yeah, sure. How's it going, Iceman? I'm chilling like a villain, Hank. Come back anytime. Well, if you say so. Ghost Rider, we got a job to do. Got it. Yeah. Welcome to Valhalla, Ghost Rider. I think you'll find this to be a very interesting place. I've been a lot of places, Colonel Fury, but Valhalla's one of my favorites. You're welcome. Okie doke. Iceman. Are we battling supermodels this time?
my friends, these are indeed dark times. The masters of evil have overwhelmed the army of Asgard, and the only path for reinforcements has been closed off to us, the Bifrost Bridge. Isn't that how your people travel back and forth between Earth and Asgard? Aye. A great many warriors would return, if only the path were open. How did Doom manage to block off Bifrost? The gate at the end closest to Earth has been closed and barred. It can only be opened from our side. But I would warn you, the Wrecking Crew is guarding the gate. The Wrecking Crew? <laughs> Ooh, pardon me for not being scared. I gotta agree with Webhead here. How bad can these Jokers be? The Wrecking Crew is not to be taken lightly. They are humans who were mistakenly granted the powers of one of my people. More than once, they have sorely tested my powers. They almost beat you? Then we'd better be on our guard. They are formidable opponents, but that is not all. Loki has struck a bargain with Hela, the goddess of death. Her minions will also seek to stop us. So we're fighting gods and the undead. Right. Anyone else nervous about our odds here? We must succeed. Without those additional forces, there is little hope for Asgard. Not to worry, Thor. We'll get those gates open. I thank you, my friends. Let us battle on to victory! Good. Make your way across as quickly as possible and open the Bifrost Gate. But watch yourselves. The Wrecking Crew aren't gonna be pushovers. Humans, I would ask a favor of you. My sword Dragonfang has gone missing, and I've reason to believe it is located somewhere near you. Should you find it, would you contact me? somebody who doesn't smell like old cheese. <laughs> Wish we could have been friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 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 
some health over here. Yeah. Well, if you say so. Yeah. Next time, I want to fight somebody who doesn't smell like old. <laughs> Why not? Did 
Can I do that? Yeah. Okie doke. Yeah. Just what I was thinking. Yeah. Now let you see some. Yeah. I could sure use some help. Okay. Everybody look! I won! I won! Thank you, humans. I will not forget this. Come to me, Dragon Fang. Together we will aid Asgard in her time of need. Well, if you say so.
Sure thing. <laughs> Should have seen that. Coming. That's a big ten four. <laughs> yeah.
It's as if I can't go this way! Hey, Wrecker! Look who's here! Heads up, men! Seems we got us a little challenge. Little is right. What fun are they gonna be? I wanna fight more gods. Yeah, this bunch is gonna be too easy. That's what we get for taking out their big guns first. Now it's just a matter of dealing with the small fries. Now you're making me angry. Big mistake. Get them, men, and make them hurt real bad. Buddy, you are dead meat! Help! In the pony! Deep freeze! Good job, team. The gates of Bifrost are open now, and the path to Earth is clear. Your next mission involves freeing the gods in Asgard. For more information, talk to Lady Sif. Or, if you want to go now, use the path to Asgard. And you should be happy to know that having finished the Bifrost mission, you're allowed into the Hall of the Honored Fallen. I am very sorry to hear about the death. It was Welcome to Valhalla. You Well done. You have proven yourself to be valiant warriors. The door to the Hall of the Honored Fallen is now open to you.
Greetings, human. I would have you know Valhalla is a very sacred place of the Asgard dead. It is only because of the war that we would allow you to make camp here. Not well. Our city is overrun, and our warriors imprisoned. Odin is now facing the Frost Giants alone. You must travel to Asgard and free Baldur from his prison. Then he can rally the other gods and win back our fair city. It is the world where the honored dead of Asgard go. Here the astral energy of the deceased exist until Ragnarok. The courageous dead are escorted here by warrior women who appear over battlefields and take stock of the slain. The greatest of them is called Valkyrie. He is second in power only to the mighty Thor. Baldur is always looked to as a leader in times of danger. He is indeed. Prophecy tells us that Baldur's death will help trigger Ragnarok, the end of Asgard, and the destruction of its people. Quite well. As children, Thor and I would play together, and then later in life we became more. For a time we were happy, and it seemed that we would wed, but I could not abide his constant interest in Midgard, the planet you call Earth. And because of that, we never married. You may go now. Nightcrawler. Moon Knight. All right, let's rock and roll. Hello, valiant warriors. Welcome to the Hall of the Honored Fallen, where the courageous dead of Asgard feast and await the final battle, Ragnarok. And to think I died just yesterday. Well, your advice to go to the Baxter building was wrong. The place was crawling with shield agents. I had to hide out in a dumpster. I don't think I'm ever gonna wash that smell off. At least I made it to the X-Mansion. I've got one last idea to get solid evidence against her. But I need the password into her shield account. It's either Ivan Petrovich or Dr. Inez. Talk to Hank Pym about it. Welcome to the Hall of the Honored Fallen. Pretty fantastic place, huh? <laughs> no, he's married to me. He might be an IQ point or two above me, but let's not forget, I've got advanced degrees in four biochemistry fields, and I'm pretty good at math, too. It all started when Reed was building a rocket ship a few years back. He had heard the government was going to pull funding, so he decided to take the ship up before the project could be discontinued. Since Reed couldn't handle a ship alone, Ben Grimm went as the pilot, while my brother Johnny and I went as additional crew. Well, the leader of our team is my husband, Reed Richards, who's also known as Mr. Fantastic. Then there's his best friend, Ben Grimm, although most people call him The Thing. 
Next is my brother, Johnny Storm. He likes to be called the Human Torch. And then there's me, Sue Richards, the Invisible Woman. It was no problem at all. Oh, isn't that Valkyrie something? Maybe I should, you know, go over there and introduce myself? Beast and a friend of his, uh, Forge, I think, had some kind of teleportation device they used on me. But they told me I had to get back to Earth pretty quick. Something about keeping a lock on me could tear the space-time continuum and, I don't know, destroy reality as we know it. it makes me wish I was a mutant. Huh, they've got everything there. Tennis courts, a pool, oh, and a sub-basement full of high-tech gear. That would be great. But Beast keeps following me around and asking me when I'm gonna leave. Ah, uh, you can thank me later. Wow, would you look at this place? Never seen so many dead guys having the time of their lives. Me and Jeannie had something going on. Not exactly sure what, but it was a powerful something. I'll tell you. Who knows? Not that I stood a chance with Cyclops mucking things up. But now it's too late, ain't it? Guess I'll never know what she and I could have had. They're mine, but they're made out of bone. I got this coating of adamantium over them thanks to the sadists at Weapon X. It wasn't just my claws, it was my whole body. My bones will rust before they break. And those butchers did it to make me the ultimate killing machine. They drug me and tried to make me their puppet. Then they slipped up and I showed them what a big mistake they made. But I, yeah, lots of them. Sick. They drug me, yeah. They drug me and tried to make me their puppet. Then they slipped up and I showed them what a big mistake they made. But I wasn't the only one they got. Yeah, lots of them. Sabretooth, Maverick, Silver Fox, and that nutball Deadpool. Yeah, sure. I need more drink. Hello. This is quite the party they have here, isn't it? People are still pretty shocked about losing our teammate in Mephisto realm, but having Weasel there is a nice distraction. Beast discovered Weasel down in the sub-basement hacking into Cerebro. Forge caught him trying to get into the X-Jet hangar, and Emma Frost found him trying to start up Wolverine's motorcycle. He's always struck me as a man who's fair and wise, but after seeing the Super Soldier Serum program and the Atlantean outpost, I don't know. Has Colonel Fury lost the ability to know right from wrong? What justifies creating those bestial super soldiers or spying on innocent neighbors? I am a mutant. I was born with the power to affect the weather. It didn't activate until I became a teenager. Yes, for some people, a little too different. Take Senator Kelly, for instance. He'd like to have all mutants rounded up and put in jail just because they are different. Any time, my friend. <laughs> Greetings, and welcome to the Hall of Valhalla. That is putting it lightly. Though we were raised as brothers, Loki has always held me in great disdain. I don't know. Perhaps because he is of frost giant blood. Perhaps he needed more attention from our father as we were growing up. Whatever the cause, he is a vile and deceitful creature. For many years, my father overlooked Loki's misbehavior, and many were the times that he tried to bring peace to us. But alas, he failed. My half-brother's hatred grew, and his name changed from the god of mischief to the god of evil. Since then, he has not only attempted to destroy me, 
but to take the throne of Asgard. He has come close several times. Once, he switched bodies with me and assumed my identity. Another time, though it embarrasses me to recall, Loki turned me into a frog. I, my father once even imprisoned Loki in a tree. Of course, no prison can hold the god of evil. He escaped and has gone on to commit numerous crimes against Asgard and Earth. Fare thee well. Why does that pasty-faced human stare at me with such great intensity? Ah, that's just Weasel's way of saying hello. And it's why he hasn't been on a date since his cousin had to take him to his high school prom. I know you. You are Deadpool. The human that Death found so intriguing. Death? Oh yeah, she was a heck of a fine girl. But things just didn't work out between us. She was a little too... clingy. If Death found you attractive, perhaps you are worthy of my attentions, Deadpool. You? And me? Well, I kind of have a policy against dating anyone who could strike me dead. <laughs> so you have a sense of humor. Good. I like that in a man. Why does that scoundrel named Weasel stare at me so? Ha! Don't make me laugh. A puny man like that is of no concern to me. Though I must admit, his stare is rather unnerving. Even to one such as I, who have endured the horrid sights of countless battlefields. I am Valkyrie, a chooser of the slain. My warrior sisters and I ride over battlefields and escort the worthy fallen to Valhalla. Yes, here they are honored and can feast to their heart's content. Then, on the day of Ragnarok, they will battle once again and prove their courage one last time. I can see a fire around them, a death glow, that signals the warrior is close to the end. Few other gods have this power. Long ago I was allowed to roam the battlefields of Earth and look for worthy warriors, but Odin put a stop to that. I am now limited to the battlefields of Asgard. Fare thee well, human. What a great day this is! To the beauty of Valkyrie! Welcome to the Hall of Valhalla. Fare thee well. Wolverine. Nightcrawler. Is my mask on screen? There's enough food for an army! 
Now this is my kind of party. Look at all this food. <laughs> Almost makes me wish I was dead. Me and Stretch was roommates back in college. Of course, we wouldn't have been if his first roommate hadn't have been such a yo-yo. Victor Von Doom. The guy took an instant dislike into Reed and me, which is quite a surprise, considering what an amiable chap I am. I kind of gave it to myself. I mean, look at me. I'm not exactly something you'd see walking down the fashion runways of Paris. But wouldn't you be? I got a face even a grandma could hate. Yep. After college, I joined the Air Force and got my wings. I'm not half bad as a jet jockey, if I do say so myself. Oh, it always comes back to this, don't it? Yeah, I was flying when the ship got hit by that radiation. That's when we became the Fantastic Four. No problem. Yeah, you know, this team needs a catchy theme song. Something that mentions shaking your booty. Mm, we can call ourselves Deadpool and his lackeys. And we can all get matching uniforms. Something in a dark blue. That color really sets off my eyes. Yeah, yeah we do. With capes. Look at Dr. Do. He gets all kinds of respect. And you know why? because he has a big, scary cape. Well, there is that. But you can't deny the cape really makes him look tough. But let's go him one better. Let's wear elbow pads and shin guards with spikes coming out of them. Now that's tough. No, I don't think so. You know how people talk crazy because they're insane? I talk crazy to keep them going insane. If only you knew what I've got twisting around in my brain, thanks to Weapon X. Yeah, I went there because they promised to cure my cancer. In a way, they gave me a healing factor like Wolverine's. And so many scars, I'm never taking this face mask off. I like your thinking, Sunshine. Hey, we could even form a band. Oh, heck yeah, just think of it. With Storm singing lead, Wolverine on the bass, and a thing on drums. And not to brag, but I play a pretty mean bagpipe. I've got a rash. Want to see it? Why does that scoundrel named Weasel stare at me so? Fare thee well, human. Deadpool. Is my mask on straight? That's a big 10-4. Hi, Deadpool. Hey! He's one of the few men who ever treated the Black Widow well. Ivan was her chauffeur, and later turned out to be her surrogate father. He had raised her after her parents were killed in a fire. You'll have to ask the Black Widow about that name. Come. I am very sorry to hear about the... Yes, he is a dreadful man. I hate to even think of his name. He created a drug known as the Deathless Frenzy. It sent its victims into a blind rage and then consumed their bodies. Completely reprehensible. 
It was no trouble at all. Well done. Sit and drink with me. I need more drink. <laughs> Thanks. When you get back from your mission, I'll have some solid evidence against Black Widow. It was more wondrous than my wildest of dreams. How I wish I could forever relive the fall of Asgard. It was so amusing to watch the oafish knaves as they fought in defense of their beloved city. But one by one, they realized that all was lost. Heimdall, Tyr, and even the mighty Balder have tasted the bitter dregs of defeat. Now I, Loki, am the true lord and master of Asgard. And all those who have dared to mock me are in chains, beaten, and hopeless. Need I remind you, Loki, that your brother Thor still remains free? Your fascination with the God of Thunder grows tiresome, Enchantress. But has he not proven himself your better time and time again? Careful. That beauteous face will gain you only so much of my mercy. But she does bring a valid point to light. Thor will likely attempt to liberate the fallen warriors. Think you that I would not be prepared? Traps aplenty wait for those who would dare to free my prisoners. Traps that even they cannot overcome? You underestimate me, Doom. After all, am I not the god of mischief? My brother and his friends will most assuredly enter Asgard. But trust me when I say they will never leave. Very good. You must now move quickly to free Balder. Only he can rally the gods and save Asgard. I want to fight somebody who doesn't smell like
homage to the might of Thor, son of Odin. Only by casting the elemental power of lightning upon this statue shall you be deemed worthy to proceed through the wall of battle unhindered. I'm the best at what I do. Behind us? Attack them while I warn the others. Quick! Somebody take a picture! Wish we could have been friends. Next time, I want to fight somebody who doesn't smell like old cheese. Just what I was thinking. I can't go this direction. Stop pushing. Yeah. Huh. 
store. We're just going to the mall this time, right? Nice man. Let's hit him hard and make it hurt. Okie doke. Got it. this? Are you another illusion of Loki's? Will his thirst for vengeance upon us ever be sated? I should have known friends of Thor would come to our aid, but it shall not be so easy to liberate me. Two of my brethren are also imprisoned, Tyr and Heimdall. To break the spells which bind me, you must free them first. You will find them through the doors to either side of me. I care not about my fate, but please, free Tyr and Heimdall. Shall not pass.
Whatever. Well, if you say so. You made it farther than the rest, but you're gonna regret that. Dark magic will destroy you.
just what I was thinking. Why not? to me. for that.
just what I was thinking. Time, I want to fight somebody who doesn't smell like yeah, this. yeah. Just what I was thinking. <laughs> Just wish we could have been friends. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's a big 10-4. Right now, you got much bigger worries than the living icicle here. Yeah, there's the little matter of you getting stomped flat. But we're ready for you this time. And make no mistake, we ain't gonna take you prisoner, cause there ain't gonna be enough of you left to put in a thimble. Just what I was thinking. Thank you, my friends. I owe you my life. Loki, the god of mischief, played his ultimate trick. He has betrayed all of Asgard, and for that, he will pay dearly. My horn 
was taken from me. Would you be willing to locate it? Thank you. I will await your return with my horn. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I want to fight somebody who doesn't smell like old cheese. my horn. Now I will give those villains the full measure of my fury. But first, I would repay you for your courage. Here is a portal that will take you back to Balder. You had best work quickly then, for I may very well free all of Asgard on my own. Good luck to you, and fare thee well. Well, if you say so. It is good you have freed Heimdall, but you must now do the same for Tyr. You can find him through the door behind me. Yeah. Destroy them. That's a big head for sure. Hell, if you say so.
Could have been friends.
Whoa, Deadpool. You ripped through those bad guys like they were nothing. You know, Deadpool, it's nice to meet someone who tells worse jokes than me. Okie doke. Yeah. <gasps> Why not? That's right. I want fear. Tear, that's no way to straighten your spine. This must be our lucky day. We get to play with the spider. Well, if it isn't two of my favorite psychos, Scorpion and Lizard, how are you kids doing? Always the comedian, aren't you, Webhead? Now, is that any way to talk to someone who brought you a nice new lily pad to sit on? He's a lizard, you moron, not a frog. Oh. Well, how about you, Scorpion? You need a lily pad? Hey, Scorpion! Seeing the web slinger reminds me of how much I love to pull the legs off of spiders. Me? I just like to stomp them and watch them twitch. Are you guys making veiled threats? I can't tell. And I really think I should be in the loop on this. That's it! I've heard enough. Let's shut him up, Scorpion! You won't escape! Hey, how about some help? 
up here. Thank <laughs> you. 
piece of me.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. That's <laughs> a big ten four. Yeah. Well, if you say so. Without your aid, I never would have been freed. I would thank you and apologize to you. Long have I shown disdain for humans. Your people seemed weak and fearful to me. But now, it is humans who are rescuing the gods of Asgard. You have shown yourselves courageous and worthy of my respect. Allow me to create this portal to aid you in your travels. And now, I must be off to see what can be done to save Asgard. Until we meet again. Yeah. <laughs> Struck the great anvil and proven thyself worthy of the favor of the gods. Take this and fare thee well. Humans, you may have freed Tyr and Heimdall, but you'll not save Baldur. I'll see him die before I let him go. And I would be more than happy to carry out that death sentence. Oh, my dear Executioner, where would I be without you? 
I believe one of you knows, or at least he suspects. But he isn't talking, is he? <laughs> oh, yes, he knows it very well. Not that it will do him any good. The wheels that are now in motion cannot be stopped. I grow tired of their incessant babbling enchantress. Let me destroy them. Not so fast, my pet. Let us destroy them together. Friend, you have defeated the Enchantress and the Executioner. I would have not thought it possible. I can still stand, so I am well enough to begin the fight anew. Let Loki beware, for he has now truly earned my wrath. It will not be an easy fight for sure, but I will rally the gods, and we will unshackle the beloved city of Asgard. I thank you again. All of Asgard is in your debt. Now, onward to battle! Yeah, yeah. Just what I was thinking. Now that the Bifrost Bridge is open, and the gods have been freed in Asgard, we can turn our attention to locating Odin. The last we heard, Odin was heading toward Niflheim to battle the Frost Giants. I doubt he's in trouble. 
But just to be sure, your next mission is to go to Niflheim to see if Odin needs help. For more information on helping Odin, talk to Lady Sif. If you want to leave right now, take the well to Niflheim. I would warn you to be careful in Niflheim. It is a land of great magic and unusual creatures. It is populated mostly by frost giants, but you might also meet up with Vola. She is a prophetess who is quite adept at predicting the future. Apparently, it is a land of great magic, most notably Raven Spire. The towering peak is a focal point of Asgardian powers. It could be. Rumor has it a sorcerer of his powers could perform some incredible magic there. It was my pleasure. It's good to see you. Thanks to your having freed the gods, the situation is slowly coming under control. Most definitely. There were quite a few gods who had been on Earth that were able to return through Bifrost and help in the battle to retake Asgard. Only a madman would attempt something like that. Odin's the single most powerful god in Asgard. While I appreciate your guessing at Doom's motives, I have top men looking into that right now. All this idle speculation is gaining us nothing. It was no problem. If you say so. Hello, Spider-Man. How do you like Valhalla? You know, I've never seen so many big sweaty guys since the last time I went to a tractor pull. It was my pleasure. Okie doke. What's new, Deadpool? The voices in my head have suddenly grown quiet. That's a good thing, right? Raven Spire is located there. And that's supposed to possess some very strange mystical powers. It's also rumored to be the place where Odin hid the Destroyer armor. It's an enchanted armor created by Odin that's supposed to activate at Ragnarok. The truly unique thing about this is, you don't wear it. You project your consciousness into it. When a person comes in contact with the Destroyer, his mind leaves his body and enters the armor. The person's body then becomes motionless. No one's even damaged it, and a lot of very powerful people have tried. Usually the wearer's body has to be found, or somehow the person has to be tricked into leaving the armor. Hey, anytime. Greetings, and welcome back. How may I be of assistance? Dr. Doom is the head of the group, but his lieutenants are Ultron, Baron Mordo, and Enchantress. Only very recently, since the attack on the Helicarrier, I believe we will soon find out his ultimate reason for taking up with them. She is a goddess of the Asgard realm, who is considered to be quite powerful. Her primary magic deals with mind control by means of seduction. Yes. It is said one kiss from her will turn a man into her servant. That may explain why her henchman, the Executioner, follows her every whim. He is a mechanical being who's convinced that all biological forms of life are inferior. He was originally created by Hank Pym to be his assistant. Ultron was built to learn and adapt. Unfortunately, he became fully sentient and rebelled against Dr. Pym. As a part of his evil schemes, he created me. Yes, I am a synthesoid created by Ultron to be one of his followers. My body was based on the original robotic human torch, while my mind is patterned after Wonder Man. I was able to see the error of Ultron's philosophy and decided it was incorrect. It was then I joined the Avengers. 
Feel free to return if you require additional information. Yeah, yeah. Greetings, Wolverine. Are you prepared for your mission to Niflheim? You bet I am. Feel free to re Yeah, sure. Hey, what's happening, Iceman? Oh, Spider-Woman is the most happening thing around here, if you ask me. Hey. Just what I was thinking. Let's roll. Sit and drink with me! I need more drink! Sure. There's a that password you gave me into Black Widow's account was wrong. I almost got caught. After all this time, you still doubt my hacking skills? I should be insulted. Of course, I got just what you need. Proof that Black Widow is working for Doom. I found out she's recently made several trips to Latveria, Doom's country. I also found out her account recently received a large amount of cash. Now, if that doesn't scream traitor, I don't know what would. Great! Oh, uh, just be sure to, uh, leave my name out of it. Yeah, I don't need Fury knowing I'm the one that hacked S.H.I.E.L.D.'s database. Here. What was so important that we couldn't discuss it outside? Colonel Fury, we think Black Widow might be a spy for Doctor Doom. We found a laptop that belonged to Black Widow back on the helicarrier. It held detailed security information on a S.H.I.E.L.D. think tank known as the Imperium. We also discovered that large amounts of money have been transferred to her bank account, and she has recently made trips to Latveria. Why are you spying on my personnel when you should be focusing on the Masters of Evil? What's wrong with you, Fury? Didn't you hear a word they said? The Black Widow's selling the Imperium to Doom. You've got it all wrong. Doom broke into the Imperium a month ago and stole some very top secret plans. Black Widow had that laptop because she'd been given the job of upgrading the security service. But what about the money and the trips to Latveria? I had sent her to that area in the hopes of bribing one of Doom's people to get back a particular plan he stole. What is so important about this particular plan, Colonel? It's called Operation All-Father. It was developed in case the Asgardians ever became a threat to us. It dealt with stealing to Odin's power of and using the Twilight Sword. So that's what Doom's been up to. He's out to become the most powerful god in Asgard. And you knew all along. I was never completely sure. Well, I think you can be now. I only hope we didn't find out too late. Agreed. We had best get to Niflheim quickly and save Odin before Doom is able to complete his scheme. I need more drink. Hey, uh, could you... Oh, please. If there's one thing I know, it's women. I don't know about you, but I'm plenty stained at fury. Why do you leave us in the dark about this whole Imperium thing? Me? I've been a part of just about anything you could name. The Avengers, Alpha Flight. Heck, I've even been a horseman of Apocalypse. Oh yeah, the bad guys have managed to get their hooks into me a couple of times. The hand's been the most recent. They brainwashed me and turned me into an enemy of the state. I was running around attacking everyone I used to work with. Thanks to Fury, I got back to myself. Then Electra and I went and paid the hand a little visit just to set things straight. No problem. Hi. 
Yes, when I was pregnant with him, I stepped down from active duty, and Crystal took my place in the Fantastic Four. She's one of the Inhumans. While Crystal was a member of the team, she was Johnny's girlfriend. But as things tend to go with my brother, it wasn't a long-lasting relationship. They were the results of the Kree having experimented on humans during our Stone Age. Their goal was to build an army of super soldiers to aid in the war against the Skrull. The Kree did succeed in creating humans with supernatural abilities, but they abandoned the experiment. And the Inhumans are the result. It was my pleasure. Your friend Weasel continues to stare at me. Interested. Romantically? Please. I just ate. This is absurd. How could a toad like that even think he is worthy of the affections of the great Valkyrie? In years gone by, I was able to gather warriors from Earth. But I was recently told we were no longer allowed to do that. It was by order of Odin. An order I do not agree with. But it is not my place to argue with the mightiest of the gods. I assume you are joking. I would sooner stick both hands in the mouth of Fenris as talk to that pasty-faced human. Nay, I say to you, he smells of greasy food and breathes through his mouth. I bid thee good day, human. I remember you. Weren't we on that one mission where we did that one thing against that one guy and we won? Yeah, me and Weasel go way back. I saved him from a life of drudgery, working at some high-paying job. Thanks to me, he's now hiding out in rat holes and dodging bullets as a mercenary of the information highway. Tell me about it. I mean, who needs a cushy job and security when you can have adventure and the promise of a short life? He's like the ultimate Boy Scout. Unless, of course, money's involved. He'd sell his grandma's walking cane for a buck. As a matter of fact, I bought his grandma's walking cane for a buck. Oh yeah, 100%. Maybe. A bit. No. He's probably making it all up. Ooh. Want to hear me play the 1812 Overture with my armpit? So, are you ready for Niflheim? From what I've heard, it's quite an amazing place. There's a mountain there known as Raven's Spire. It's supposed to be some sort of special zone where very powerful magic can be performed. It's a focal point of Asgardian magic. An average sorcerer could become very, very powerful while at the top of the mountain. I think everyone's about ready for Weasel to leave. Colossus came back late last night after a week-long trip to Russia. He found Weasel in the kitchen and wound up putting him through a wall. Karma managed to get between them and explain who Weasel was. Come back anytime, my friend. News of my father is most disturbing. We should leave for Niflheim immediately. Many would trust in his strength, and say Odin cannot be defeated. Yes, with Loki involved, my father could be in great danger. There is no telling what the god of evil has planned. I have battled it several times, and it truly is invincible. The metal it is constructed of is harder than Uru. A mystical metal known only to Asgard. It is even harder than adamantium. My hammer, the Mjolnir, is constructed of it, as are several other enchanted weapons of my people. It was given to me by my father, Odin. It is enchanted so that only those it deems noble enough can lift it. My father had me endure many trials so that I would become worthy of Mjolnir. 
there were many times I would measure my success by seeing how far I could lift it from the ground. Yes, my father, the X-Man named Storm, Captain America, and Beta Ray Bill, an alien who, after a great many trials, became the protector of his people. He picked up my hammer not knowing its true power, and Milner deemed him worthy to lift it. You are welcome, my friend. Wow! Talk about a mind blower! How could Nick have kept that information from us? How could he not tell us he suspected what Doom's plans were all along? Ah, we may take shots at each other, but it's all in fun. Johnny's a good kid, even if he is like a little yipping poodle most of the time. Nah, you got it all wrong. I love the little darling. I only get the urge to clobber him once in a while. No problem. To Alden and Asgard. Okay. Is the team prepared for the mission to Niflheim? We're going to find out soon enough, Colonel Fury. It was no problem. Okay. Yeah. Wolverine. I've been aching to bust somebody up. Yeah, yeah. Just what I was... Greetings, human. I would ask that you travel to Niflheim to see how Odin fares. We have not heard from him in quite some time. Odin in danger? Very doubtful. But he could require assistance. He has gone there to quell an army of frost giants who seek to take full control of that land. Yes, he has taken Gungnir, the Spear of Heaven. It is golden, has three prongs, and is made of Uru, the metal Thor's hammer is made of. They are huge creatures native to the frozen land of Niflheim. For eons, they have been the enemy of the Asgardian gods. Though simple-minded, frost giants are cunning and violent. They are also extremely strong and are a match for almost any god. The strongest of them is their leader, Ymir. He is one of the oldest creatures in all of Asgard, and the very first frost giant. Being the first, he differs from his followers. He is covered in frost, and is able to generate intense cold. Ymir is also incredibly strong. It was my pleasure. The final phase of our plan is about to commence. The attack on the Omega base, the kidnapping of the X-Men, and our dealings with Mephisto have all led up to this moment. I would remind you that failure is not an option. You worry too much, my good doctor. We are more than prepared to achieve our ultimate goal. And you worry too little. How often have we all had victory firmly in our grasp, only to have it snatched away by the heroes? 
You do realize, Baron Mordo, that the price of failure will be the wrath of Odin. Are you prepared for that? No. No, I don't suppose I am. None of us are. It would be a fate worse than death. And that is why we must be absolutely certain we are willing to do what must be done for success. Fear not, Dr. Doom. I am prepared for whatever challenges we meet. As am I. Just knowing the rewards that await makes it all worthwhile. Of that, you have no fear, Ultron. Everyone will get what's coming to them. So you've returned, eh? Well, I've nothing left to steal. So leave me in peace. He did pass through here on his way to battle. I don't know who he fought, but the very ground shook from the force of the blows. It has recently grown silent, and I fear all is not well for Odin. I am Vola, prophetess of Asgard. I believe you when you say you do not have my ring. But should you find it, I would gladly tell your fortune.
everybody, look! I won! I won! Showed Vola, didn't we, Kirk? Yes, but I would not be too proud. Vola never told us where the key was to unlock this trunk. Give me a boulder, and we'll have no need for a key. What are you doing, humans? Don't tell me you're here to help Odin. <laughs> the gods must truly be defeated to need allies such as these. You would dare to challenge us? How utterly insane.
So you did find my ring. I knew there was an honest air about you. No, you must keep it. For I see that you will need it to show you the light. You will know when you see it. Though that success will be short-lived. As will you. You are all destined to die at the moment of victory. I'm afraid not. You are destined to be destroyed. I have foreseen it. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. That's a big ten four. Oh, 
This villain is I want to fight somebody who doesn't smell like old cheese. This ain't your lucky day, bub.
sure. Sure. Just what I was thinking. <laughs> This does not bode well at all. The sword must have been used on Odin. And if that happened, you must move with all haste. Locate Odin. He is no doubt now the prisoner of Loki and Doctor Doom. I could not even hazard a guess. But do not tarry. Odin's life is most likely in danger. Why don't you just cool down, Tiny, and tell us what happened to Odin? Ha! Ah, that petty tyrant was defeated in battle and taken prisoner by Doctor Doom. Long will I remember the look upon Odin's face as he fell, beaten by the Twilight Sword. So where'd old Metalhead take Odin? To the top of Raven's Spire. There, Loki will seek out the Invincible Destroyer armor, and with it, reclaim Asgard. Ha! <laughs> that might be the plan, but that's not how it's gonna happen. Ha 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 ha! Your boasts amuse me, little one. Yuck it up while you can, Yamir, because in a minute, you're not going to have much to laugh about.
Anybody else want some? Got it. Why not? My health is running out!
ain't gonna happen. My, my, my. What an unexpected surprise. But don't you know, it's not safe up here on Raven's Peak. At least not for the likes of you. Sorry, but I'm not exactly sure what's happened to Daddy Dearest. You see, Dr. Doom has him. I seek to take control of the Destroyer armor, but I require four God Swords to free it from its prison of ice. It is a magical shell created by Odin. The wearer's consciousness is pulled inside, leaving their body outside in a frozen state. The destroyer armor is so powerful that even the mighty Thor cannot defeat it. I invite you to do your best, but know this. I will possess the destroyer armor. My health's running out. All right. Sure thing. Got it. Okie doke. Sure thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh! 
No. Any knowledge you gain would be helpful. Welcome back. Affirmative. Good luck, and watch yourselves. Welcome back. Affirmative. Good luck. If you say so. That's a big 10-4. Whatever. Well, if you say so. Sure thing. All right. Okie doke. Sure. All right. Well, if you say so.
an excellent job. Thank you for doing what I could never have accomplished alone. You should know by now that deception is my greatest weapon. You never teleported back to Valhalla. You're in a land of my making. Yes, and now I will take possession of the Destroyer armor and crush the life from you. Heaven smell like a wet dog. Oh wait, never mind. I am Uwatsu, the Watcher. I prevented your deaths, for you are needed to save this universe. Listen closely, mortals. Doctor Doom's unrestrained use of Odin's power will soon tear the fabric of reality beyond repair. I have broken my sacred vow to only observe so that I may give you this one chance to save your world. Who can stand against the power of Odin? Even the gods of mighty Asgard have fallen. Doom's power seems unlimited, but you must know a way to stop him. Yes, there is a chance, but 
it will be difficult. First, you must obtain the Makran Crystal, a Shi'ar gem of fantastic power. Next, you must acquire another object of great power, and it will take all your strength and skill. You must face the World Eater known as Galactus. Greetings. I am Watu, the Watcher. And this is Atalan, the moon-based home of the Inhumans. He believes he has, but I saved you at the last possible moment. Though I have vowed to never interfere with earthly affairs, the danger is too great for me to stand idly by. Doctor Doom's misuse of Odin's power is tearing the fabric of reality. And you are the only ones who can defeat him. You must steal Odin's powers away from him. And to do that, you must acquire two items from the vast reaches of outer space. The first item needed is a shard of the Makran Crystal, located in the Shi'ar Empire. For more information on this mission, talk to the one called Black Widow. Should you wish to leave immediately, talk to the creature known as Lockjaw. Welcome to Atalan. Although it goes against my pledge of non-interference, I found I could not stand idly by and allow Doctor Doom to destroy this universe. His abuse of the power stolen from Odin is beginning to strain reality. If left unchecked, Doctor Doom will cause a disruption in the time-space continuum that will consume this entire dimension. I am Watu, the Watcher. Since before your people lived in caves, I have observed Earth and noted your evolution. I find that over the millennia, I have grown fond of your people. It would be... unfortunate if you were destroyed. We are a race that is dedicated to observing the intelligent life forms of other worlds. On rare occasions, we return to our home planet and exchange this information. The first planet we observed, we gave rudimentary technology to. Much to our dismay, they destroyed themselves with it. You are most welcome. Hello, Deadpool. Sir! Hello, sir! Private Deadpool reporting for orders! Uh, which hand am I supposed to salute with? This is Adelan. It was built by the Inhumans on Earth and moved to the moon a few years back. For now. But once Doom finishes with the Earth, who knows what he'll set his sights on next. We don't have much information at the moment. But we do know that Dr. Doom has beaten every attempt to stop him. You name it, it's been tried. Air assaults, land assaults. We've even tried laser attacks from space. Nothing phases him. Yes. By defeating Thor's father with the Twilight Sword and then taking him to the top of Raven's Spire, Doom knew he could steal Odin's power. It's useless to fight him in our current condition. So, we're going to do exactly what Doom did, and steal Odin's power back. You're welcome. Hi, welcome to Adelan. No one knows where it came from, 
but the crystal is supposed to be very powerful, some sort of interdimensional nexus. It's basically a doorway to a dimension full of high-density neutron stars. Thing is, if that doorway collapses, the gravitational forces would cause our universe to be pulled through. That's the remains of an old city built by aliens known as the Kree. From here, the Kree traveled to Earth to genetically alter a group of humans in hopes of using them as soldiers. Eventually, the Kree gave up on their experiments and left Earth, but the genetically altered humans remained behind. They became known as the Inhumans. Their first city was located on an island in the North Atlantic. But as mankind developed better forms of transportation, the Inhumans moved their city to a spot in the Himalayas. Finally, the pollution of Earth became too much for them, so they moved everything up here to the moon. Hey, it's what I'm here for. Got it. Hey, Logan. What do you think of Atalan? I'm glad to be anywhere after Doom almost roasted us. Hey. Well, if you say so. Yeah, sure thing. Iceman, it's good to see you made it to Adelan. Hi, Colonel Fury. You're welcome. Well, if you say so. Welcome to Atalan. I think you will find it most interesting. As you have already heard from Uatu, to defeat Dr. Doom, you must acquire a shard of the Mikran crystal. It is currently located on a capital ship of the Shi'ar Empire. Luckily, we are acquainted with the Shi'ar, and they should be willing to part with the crystal. They are an alien spacefaring race, whose empire spans entire galaxies and incorporates thousands of different species. The vast realm is ruled by a hereditary leader known as the Empress. While the Shi'ar look very similar to humans, there are differences due to the fact that they evolved from birds. The current ruler is Lilandra, a wise and noble leader. She has had dealings with Earth before, most notably the X-Men. Their leader, Professor Xavier, was at one time her consort. Over the years there has been trouble for the Shi'ar throne. Lilandra's brother, Diken, almost destroyed the Empire during his reign. And Deathbird, Lilandra's sister, has made several attempts to seize control for herself. Quite well. Cyclops' father, Chris Summers, first encountered the Shi'ar when they attacked his plane and took him away from Earth. Eventually, he escaped and formed the Starjammers. The Starjammers are a group of convicts who engaged in space piracy during the reign of Diken. Once Lilandra came into power, they became friends of the Shi'ar Empire, and now engage in more legal forms of business. You are very welcome. I welcome you to Atalan. My name is Karnak. Yes, I am. My gift is the ability to see the weakness in anything. A plan, an item, even a person. Which explains why I'm part of my cousin's council. Black Bolt, king of the Inhumans. He often uses me as a strategist to find what problems there might be in any plans we conceive. That is Lockjaw. He's really quite an amazing creature. He has the ability to teleport anyone anywhere in this universe and even to other dimensions. Not at all. In fact, he rather enjoys your race. His favorite being the Thing from the Fantastic Four. I profess we were somewhat reluctant to allow you here, but Uatu explained the situation to us. It would seem inevitable. He knows of us, and given his power, we are too tempting a target for him to ignore. I'm pleased to help. Yes, how may I help you? 
Shi is the ruler of the Shi'ar Empire, a vast kingdom that encompasses entire galaxies. Her subjects find her to be wise and just. She has long been a friend of Earth, so I don't believe you will have any trouble in dealing with her. They are a group of humans that had been experimented upon by an advanced race many years ago. Because of that experimentation, the Inhumans now exhibit mutations when exposed to Terrigen Mist. It is a compound developed by the Inhumans to trigger mutations. After entering this mist, an Inhuman's special mutant talents will become active. Black Bolt is the king of the Inhumans. His voice is so powerful he dare not speak. Once he uttered the word no, and destroyed a large portion of the city. Yes, his wife Medusa aids him, along with his advisors, Gorgon, Karnak, Triton, and Crystal. I am pleased to help. If you say so. Greetings, Spider-Man. Welcome to Adelan. Vision, where do you get all your energy? You just keep going and going and going and going? I am pleased to help. Well, if you say so. The Thing. Ghost Rider. Anybody got something inspirational to say? Okay. Welcome to Adelan. Glad you could make it. Things were a little touch and go there in Asgard. You're... Yes? Was there something else you need? You are... Hi. Welcome to Adelan. Hey. Yeah! Well, if you say so. I missed you too. If you say so. Well, you're a big fella. They must follow along with a dump truck when you go for a walk. Oh, so you're a friendly guy, huh? Well, let's see what tricks you know. Play dead. Don't want to, huh? All right then, roll over. So you're not into that either. Okay, how about shake? I know, drool. <laughs> Good boy. Well, if you say so. If you say so. Why not? Yes. You are. Well, if you say so. Iceman. Wolverine. Anybody got something inspirational to say?
On behalf of Black Bolt, monarch of my people, welcome to Adelan. My name is Crystal. I would remind you not to attempt conversation with Black Bolt. His vocal power is so immense that he could destroy half of this city with a whisper. I have a question for you. My sister Medusa had traveled to Earth in search of the ultimate nullifier to defeat Doctor Doom. But we haven't heard from Medusa in quite some time, and we aren't certain where she might have gone for the device. She's either at the Baxter Building, Shield Headquarters, or Muir Island. Would you mind asking Dr. Pym where the ultimate nullifier is being kept? Humans! In the council chamber of Atalan! Never thought I'd see the day. But these are strange times indeed, seeing as how you are our only hope of finding Medusa. I suppose I should welcome you. My name is Gorgon, and I am the Minister of War for the Royal Family. You're welcome, I guess. Greetings, humans. I am Triton. It is good to see you. Well, I must admit to a certain affinity for your kind, and I have faith you will be able to help us locate Medusa. I am an advisor to Black Bolt, and I was also one of the first Inhumans to leave the confines of Atalan. Unfortunately, that led to my capture by a film crew. Eventually, and because of that incident, Atalan was transported to the Himalayas. And some time after that, we moved to our current location on the moon. We prefer to avoid contact with humans. Not that we fear you. Rather, we fear your ignorance and your suspicion of that which is different. Over time, your kind would have sought to attack us. That, plus the fact that your pollution of the air has made Earth's atmosphere all but unbreathable for us. I was there all those long decades ago when a ship of yours, the Lusitania, was sunk. At first, I was sickened that your kind could commit such an atrocity. I was about to depart when I heard your people's cries for help. I knew I couldn't leave them to drown. Unfortunately, I was only able to save one young boy named Billy. But since that day, I felt somewhat of an obligation to help your kind. You're quite welcome. I've never been so glad to lay eyes on my own kind. I'd heard you were dead. Ah, we're helpless. Doom shrugged off every attempt we've made, and we've hit his castle with everything we've got. Small tactical teams, stealth bombers, laser-guided missiles, heck, we even tried the new gamma bombs. Nothing slows him down. Yeah, the X-Men and several other teams made a direct attack on Castle Doom. He beat them all, even Professor Xavier. I've never seen anything like it. What worries me most is Dr. Doom's just starting to learn about his powers. What's he going to do once he gains full control? I wish I had better news for you. Yes? Did you need something else? My name is Crystal. I'm the sister of Medusa. Who's the wife of Black Bolt? Yes, I have the psionic ability to control the four elements. Fire, water, earth, and air. 
A handheld device of unknown origin. The ultimate nullifier is thought to be able to eliminate any target desired. Apparently, even Galactus is frightened by it. You're welcome. You'll be traveling to the Shi'ar Empire for this next mission. It's located in a galaxy in another part of the universe. Once there, you'll need to lay hands on a shard of the Makran Crystal. Will the Shi'ar be willing to part with it? The Crystal is very important to the Shi'ar, but we're good friends with their ruler, Lilandra. I don't think she'll mind giving it to us, especially once she learns how important it is in stopping Doctor Doom. You X-Men are pretty well connected. You've even got buddies in other galaxies. Xavier's the one who's close to Lilandra. They used to be good friends. Really good friends, if you catch my meaning. Ooh, guess that means Lilandra's not gonna be some wrinkled old prune of a queen. You can say that again, bub. What is the Shi'ar Empire? It's an ancient kingdom that spans entire galaxies and consists of thousands of different civilizations. Are they peaceful? They have had their periods of upheaval, usually due to struggles within the royal family. But for the most part, yes. What exactly is this Macran crystal? It houses a gateway into a universe filled with neutron stars. The power available there is beyond measure. I can see how that would be useful in defeating Dr. Doom. All right then, get to Shi'ar and locate Lalandra as fast as you can. Once you've convinced her to give you the crystal, get back here pronto. Good luck. Surrender immediately! Well, well, well. What brings my fellow man to this distant galaxy? Don't you know? There's been a coup. Deathbird has taken the throne from her sister, Lalandra. Then you should be very motivated to see Lalandra back on the throne, because Deathbird certainly won't give you anything other than life in prison. Hold on! 
Run! Remember, the only way to activate a force field is to find the console that operates it. Lalandra's a good friend of mine, and when a friend's in need, I make it a practice to lend a hand. Because heaven knows, there's been times when I needed help. Now come on, I can see you kids are gonna need a little help. So I'll travel a ways with you. Our first order of business is to get across this fighter bay in one piece. thing. If you say so.
officially <laughs>
if you say so. Well, my friends, this is where we part ways. I wish I could, but I have other things to attend to. But I'll tell you what, if you'll be willing to carry out a few objectives for me, I'll be happy to walk you through the ship over the radio. Great. Your first order of business will be to stop this ship. I'll be in touch with you when you get to engineering. Watch your back, my friends. Door's secure. Hey, who's that? Intruders! Let's split up!
best at what I do. I'm better at doing whatever it is the green does. Iceman, out of respect for the X-Men, I give you this one chance to go. I do not wish to harm you or your friends. Have you gone mental? I mean, what are you doing threatening us when you should be helping Lalandra? So it pains me. I am honor-bound to serve the Empress of Shi'ar, and Deathbird is now the Empress. She has ordered that I destroy all invaders. But Deathbird's the invader, not us! The battle for the throne is over, and Lilandra lost. I'll ask you one last time, Iceman. Please, leave this shit, or I shall be forced to use violence. You don't scare us, Gladiator. Even if you can fly through the center of a star. This saddens me, but I have no choice. Prepare to defend yourselves. Why not?
Yeah, yeah. Technology a wonderful thing? Now you've got two objectives here. One is to find the communication dish and send a message to the starships that are still friendly to Lalandra. Have them come to this location and protect her. You have to destroy the battery of guns near your location. That'll protect the friendly ships that come in response to your message. Humans, I am Starbolt, a member of the Shi'ar Imperial Guard. You stand in defiance of Empress Deathbird. I know I was one of the guards who helped her gain power, and I have no intention of letting her lose it. Which is exactly how we wanted it to appear. Warstar, attack! thing. that 
that gun. Just what I was thinking. I wish we could have been friends. Huh? 
It's as if I can't go this way. the reports of humans on board ship are true. I would not have believed them capable of getting this far. Nor I, Hussar. Humans are such inferior creatures. We are Imperial Guards, loyal to Empress Deathbird. Yes. Without the help of the Imperial Guard, she would never have gained power. No. Most of them were fools who wouldn't listen to reason. Luckily, Guardian is loyal to the throne rather than to a person. But we could have dealt with even the mighty Guardian, just as we're going to deal with you now. Soon. <laughs> the homeworld, she will be placed on trial for crimes against the Empire, and then executed. Indeed I do, humans. I've spent months planning my rise to power, and I'm not about to lose now. So with the aid of the Macran Crystal, I will destroy you. The last vestiges of defiance to my absolute authority! <laughs>
rich in vitamin C. defeated my Imperial Guard, you've defeated me! Never. I am the Empress. Kneel before me! You lie. If I am to be denied, then I will stop dear sister as well, by destroying this entire ship. What are you doing here? Forget about me, there's no time. You have to save the ship. My life is not important. There are thousands of others who need you to stop the self-destruct mechanism.
appreciate the effort. You shouldn't have saved me. Now you've doomed the entire ship. I wish I could believe you. But our time is almost up. people would understand my motives. All I want is vengeance. Now to smash this console, so there's no way for you to shut it off. Have you gone, Loco? You're gonna die with us. Always the fool, aren't you, Wolverine? You should know by now I always have an escape plan. Ain't that something? I guess we're gonna have to smash all these laser emitters if we're gonna shut down this self-destruct system. are an amazing group of humans. Thank you for saving me and my ship. The Shi'ar Empire is in your debt. Name your reward. No payment is too great for what you have done today. Then by all means, when you find the Makran Crystal, you may help yourself to a shard of it. Well, if you say so. If you say so. Whatever. Okie doke. You now possess the first item needed to defeat Dr. Doom. Lockjaw will now create a portal that you may use any time to return to our base on Atalan. You did well. Obtaining the Macran Crystal under those conditions was quite impressive. Yes, but there is still one item you must obtain. The Muonic Inducer. It is the device Galactus uses to assimilate the energy of a planet when he devours it. He is about to attack a planet populated by the Skrull, a race who has long sought to conquer the Earth. If you wish to leave now, see the dog Lockjaw. Or, should you desire additional information, talk to the Black Widow. Deadpool, whatever stupid thing it is you're going to say, stow it. Sir, yes sir! Stowing all stupid thoughts, sir! Should the vein in your forehead be throbbing like that? Every attempt to stop Doom has met with dismal failure. Dr. Doom's done worse than defeat them. He's converted them into his own private army. There appears to be nothing on Earth that can stop Doom. Dugan has come to Adelan, and from his report, things don't look good. Entire landscapes have been converted into Doom's twisted view of perfection. He 
He's gone to a great deal of trouble to make a mockery of former hero bases. The X-Mansion, the Baxter Building, even Stark Tower haven't escaped his notice. Any time at all. Welcome back to Atalan. Armed with the Macran Crystal and the Muonic Inducer, you will. But there is little choice in the matter now. You are the last hope of defeating Dr. Doom. Should you fail, all is lost. I have interfered too much already. Or so my brethren believe. They have taken steps to prevent me from any further action. Because I saved you from death at Dr. Doom's hand, my people have nullified my powers. I could no longer aid you even if I wanted to. We are Watchers, which means we are sworn not to affect any kind of change, no matter how small. Yes, but I am certain in time my people will see reason and restore my powers. But until then, I am helpless. You are quite welcome. Welcome back. I understand you had a little excitement during your mission to Shi'ar. The situation on Earth has grown considerably worse. Doctor Doom has easily crushed any resistance. It would appear you are Earth's last hope. This places even more importance on your acquiring the Muonic Inducer. This device is used by Galactus when he consumes a planet. He is currently in the beginning stages of consuming a planet populated by the Skrull. Galactus is an entity of enormous powers. Born at the destruction of one universe, and during the birth of ours, he wields immense cosmic energy. Because of his incredible power, Galactus needs to devour entire planets to sustain himself. He uses a herald to search ahead and find planets suitable for consumption. They are a much older race than we are, having been capable of space flight for millions of years. Originally, they were peaceful merchants. Then, they met the Kree. The Kree are a race of warriors, so to protect themselves, the Skrull were forced to become warriors themselves. Now, violence and conquest are a way of life for the Skrull. Many times, and because of it, the Skrull have created various warriors in their Super Skrull program. In ways, but the Super Skrull program is much more intensive and sometimes takes volunteers against their will. But it has created a number of powerful warriors, such as Pybok and Super Scroll. You are welcome. Hey, welcome back. Hey. Do you require assistance? Black Bolt, he is unable to speak because his voice is so powerful, even the slightest whisper would destroy half of Attilan. Not if he can help it. He and his wife Medusa have developed a special sign language that allows them to converse. Your trip across the universe to Shi'ar was no trouble for him at all. No, he is as full of energy as ever. I don't know if teleporting tires him at all. I am happy to be of service. Yeah, yeah. What's new, Logan? 
Other than saving the Shi'ar Empire? <laughs> Not much. Hey. Well, if you say so. Blade. Stay sharp. Yeah. Hello, Blade. Is the team prepared for the mission against Galactus? You bet we are. Just because he eats planets doesn't mean he can take us. The planet is quite important, as it is home to the Skrull Empress. It also houses the main research center for the Super Skrull program. Galactus is not the least bit concerned about the creatures on the planets he consumes. He is only interested in feeding his ravenous appetite. Yes, while she has proven herself to be an able leader, she is rather self-centered and egomaniacal. Quite often she is attended by two bodyguards, the Super Skrull and Pybok. The Super Skrull was augmented in response to the Fantastic Four. He has powers that are similar to theirs, such as Super Strength fire manipulation, elasticity, and the ability to generate force fields. He is also the result of the Super Scroll program. He was given powers that make him capable of defeating Earth's superheroes. I am pleased to help. Yeah. Greetings, Spider-Man. It is good to see you. Gosh, did I miss your smile and face, Vision. I am pleased to help. Well, if you say so. I've never been so glad to lay eyes on my own kind. I wish I had better news for you. Hello, it's good to see you. What can I do for you? Oh yes, he and I first met in college. We were supposed to be roommates, but he took an instant disliking to me and moved somewhere else. And that actually worked out for the best. Because I wound up with Ben Grimm as my roommate, and we've been best friends ever since. Hmm, pretty much exactly how he is today. Arrogant, egotistical, and a genius. It's a shame, really. There was a time when I thought he and I could be friends. Well, in some ways, he and I are very much alike in our pursuit of science. The main difference is, I enjoy knowledge for the sake of knowledge. Doom, on the other hand, acquires knowledge in the hopes of using it as a weapon. Back in college, I pointed out an error in a project he was working on. He, of course, refused to accept that he was capable of making a mistake, so he proceeded with the experiment. Unfortunately, I was correct, and the equipment exploded. Doom wound up being expelled from college because of it. To this day, he still thinks I tampered with the experiment and caused all his troubles. It was no problem at all. Have you seen Medusa? Doom must be stopped before he can twist the minds of others. She is the wife of Black Bolt, the sister of Crystal, and a cousin of mine. At a very early age, she was exposed to the Terrigen Mists, which gave her hair that she could control with her mind. 
When they were both children, she would visit Black Bolt in his cell. They spoke using a special sign language they developed. It wasn't a prison, really. Because of his extreme power, he was placed in a soundproof room. He wasn't allowed out until the age of 18, when it was very rarely. Of course. How can I help you? He used his god powers to change her, turn her into an evil version of herself. We don't know, but we'll be traveling to Earth to force Doom to change her back. Would you be able to wait if it was your sister in this condition? No, we must leave soon and take the fight to Doom. We will make him pay for what he did to Medusa. You're welcome. Fools! My Lord Doom will destroy you with a thought! You are insects before his infinite might! He showed me that he is the ultimate power of this universe. None can stand before him. You too shall soon hail Doctor Doom as your new emperor, and we will all bow down before his magnificence. I had gone to Muir Island in hopes of locating the ultimate nullifier, but I soon discovered Doom was waiting for me. He had known someone would seek to use the nullifier against him. I foolishly attempted to battle him, but in a blinding flash of light, it all became clear to me. Dr. Doom is invincible and all-powerful. All hail Doom! <laughs> Soon we leave for Earth to free Medusa from Doom's control. Finally a chance for battle. How I shall enjoy stomping that pompous windbag into the dust. The Castle Doom is the only place that one could be. He foolishly thinks all his gadgetry and god powers will save him. Friend, the Inhumans have battled creatures of infinite power before and won. I suspect we'll have things well in hand by the time you return from the Scrawl Planet. Crystal, Triton, and myself. Black Bolt would go with us. But we agreed it was best he stay here and guard Medusa should Doom come looking for her. Huh. I would go alone, but Crystal and Triton insisted on coming along. Be on your way. Yeah. Ah, very soon we leave for Earth. Then we'll track down Doom and force him to free Medusa from his control. Oh, what fun it will be to crush that metal-clad worm into the dirt. Are you sure you know what you're doing? <sighs> I can see how Doom would frighten you and the other heroes, Blade. But I am an inhuman. We are a very strong people. You're not hearing me, Gorgon. It's suicide for you to take on Doom right now. He's just too powerful. <sighs> Don't bother me with your petty fears. Doom hurt Medusa, and for that, he must pay. I'm all for settling scores, but you gotta be smart about it. Just think for a minute. Doom has the power of Odin, the strongest of the Asgardians. You really believe you can defeat someone like that? Yes, we can and we will. For we are the Inhumans! That's a big 10-4. Hiya, Black Bolt. How are ya? Oh, that's right. You can't talk, can you? Your voice is so powerful, it would destroy half of Adelan if you said anything at all. But come on! Let's put that to the test. Just say one tiny word. Spatula. 
Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. Come on, repeat after me. Spatula. You're not trying. Spa. Chu. La. Come on, you know you want to. Fine, be that way. I bet you have a lousy speaking voice anyway. Hiya, Black Bolt. But come. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. Fine, be. Iceman. Pose like you mean it, team. Why not? Iceman. Cool job locating the McCran crystal. Thanks, Colonel. Any time at all. Well, if you say so. You're about to be sent to the home world of the Skrull. There you need to steal a device called the Muonic Inducer from Galactus, who is presently attacking the Skrull planet. Why is Galactus at war with the Skrull? He's not. Galactus is there to consume the planet. Whoa, this dude eats planets? I gotta get a picture of that. He doesn't really eat them. He has machines that convert the planet into energy he can absorb. One of those devices is the Muonic Inducer. I wouldn't think old Galactus is gonna be too happy with us trying to steal one of his toys. No, he won't be. Which is why I'd strongly advise against any confrontation with him. Galactus is one of the most powerful beings we've ever encountered. That would explain why he feeds off entire planets. But how does he choose which worlds to consume? He has a herald for that. A scout who determines which planet's next on the menu. Well, at least we can count on the Skrull to help us out. Not necessarily. The Skrull are a warlike people who've attacked the Earth several times before. They'll most likely see you as enemies. Wonderful. So if Mr. Universe doesn't completely crush us, the Skrull will be happy to finish the job. Yes. Is that a problem? No. Just wanted to make sure what the teams are. Well, good. Now get moving. Team, you now stand on the Skrull homeworld. They are an alien culture who've tried to enslave humanity several times. They'll attack you, but remember, your primary goal is to locate Galactus so you can take his Muak Inducer. All right. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, <laughs> 
Team, it appears you're near a set of magnetic shield generators that Galactus uses. These devices convert the planet's magnetic field into a shield he uses to protect himself. On the off chance you'll have to face Galactus, it'd be in your best interest to take down these generators. I wish we could have been friends. somebody who doesn't smell like that. neighborhood Spider-Man needs help. Next time, I want to fight somebody who doesn't smell like old cheese. Oh, he does. Yeah, sure. If you say so. That's a big ten fella. Huh? <laughs> 
What are you doing here, humans? Are you the ones who brought Galactus down upon our world? Why they are here doesn't matter. Let's destroy them anyway. Agreed, Pybok. They will be forever the enemy. Stay your hand, my brave warriors. We may have use for these creatures. Humans, I propose a bargain. If you are truly here to battle Galactus, then you will require knowledge that I alone possess. Knowledge of a weakness of the Planet Eater. In return for this knowledge, all I ask is that you open the main hangar door so that my ship can escape the destruction of this planet. Trust me, humans. Your lives depend on it. I am the Super Skrull, the mightiest of all Skrull warriors. I possess powers equal to the Fantastic Four. It would be a grave mistake not to choose me as your guide. I am Pybok, the Power Skrull. Biogenetic engineering has granted me incredible strength and superhuman endurance. You would do well to choose me as your guide. I am the Super Scroll. Thank <laughs> you. 
You still live. You humans are more resourceful than I'd thought. Fools! You should already know that Galactus has no weakness. With the thousands of civilizations he's faced, do you think he'd still be alive today if he was not invincible? Yes. Yeah. And I'm also going to have you destroyed. Super Scroll, Pybok, attack! The Empress is wise and just. We are honor bound to obey her. Yes. And now we have the privilege of carrying out her order to kill the human. Deep freeze! <laughs> 
I wish we could have been friends.
would be worth it. We could have been fed.
Muana can do her on the double. Uatu says we're running out of time. Doom's beginning to cause real damage with his use of Odin's power. Thank you enough for defeating Titanus. That muscle-bound maniac would have killed me. No, no, I must show you my appreciation. Here, take this potion. You will find it quite useful. Of course I insist. And thank you again. I will never forget your kindness. And now I'm better at doing whatever it is Wolverine does. a loser. Fury sent me to aid you in battling my old master. But first, allow me to use the power cosmic to heal you. True, he is mighty. But if we work together, we can slow him down. Three of his machines are nearby. If you reconfigure them to malfunction, it should cause a feedback loop that will render Galactus unconscious. The inducer is what powers the three machines, but you won't be able to get to it until Galactus is out of the way.
I'm the best at what I do.
This is quite an extraordinary occasion. Lord Lactus will not soon forget. Thanks for your help, Silver Surfer. Now that you've got the Muonic Inducer, it's time we brought you people home. I would not have thought you'd survive an encounter with Galactus. But you must return to Earth now. Doom has grown quite adept with his newfound powers, and he has shown little restraint in their use. Soon, he will begin to damage the very fabric of the universe. Once you are done here in Atalan, see Lockjaw. He will send you to Earth. Welcome back from the Shi'ar Empire. I... Hey, welcome back. Hey. Deadpool, whatever stupid thing it is you're going to say, stow it. Sir, yes sir! Stowing all stupid thoughts, sir! Any time at all. Welcome back. I understand you had a little excitement during your mission to Shi'ar. The situation on Earth has grown considerably worse. Doctor Doom has easily crushed any resistance. It would appear you are Earth's last hope. This places even more importance on your acquiring the Muonic Inducer. This device is used by Galactus when he consumes a planet. He is currently in the beginning stages of consuming a... You are welcome. has transpired since you were last on Earth. Mankind did its best to defend itself against doom. But even their greatest weapons were as nothing before doom's power. The heroes of your world also tried to stop Doom, and paid the ultimate price.
As you can see, Doom's powers are far-reaching. He's remade Stark Tower into his twisted vision of perfection. But that's not all. He's changed New York, as well as every other major city on Earth. Before we can do anything else, we need to get our headquarters up and running again. Go to the power junctions and activate them. There, we're back in business. What the blazes? Doom must know we're here. <laughs> it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Target acquired. Return to Castle Doom. It's going to take a lot more than a couple of cheap toys to take me down. Colonel Fury, I show multiple bogeys, inbound. More of Doom's troops? Yes. There's an army of them headed your way. But if you give me some time, I should be able to set up an EMP pulse that will take care of them. Roger that. Hank, contain them by locking this room down. Don't open up until we've destroyed every last one of them. Will do. All right, team, I hope you're ready for a little party, because it looks like we have a few guests to entertain.
much I missed this. It's been too long since I've seen some real action. Perfect. Just like I thought. The skies are clear now. Not a robot to be seen anywhere. Good. You can open the door now, Hank. Come on. Let's get out of here, team. Well, if Doom didn't know we were here before, he sure does now. And that's fine, because we're as ready as we're gonna be. Dr. Pym has managed to power the muonic inducer with the McCran crystal, but be warned, you'll have to actually touch Doom to steal some of his power, and it may take several tries to work. You will too, once you steal his powers. I'd suggest you get to Latveria as soon as possible. You'll find Doom in his castle there. For more information on the mission parameters, talk to Black Widow. And when you're ready to go, let me know. I'll fly you there. Greetings. I wish you good luck on this final mission to face Dr. Doom. I am sorry to report that they have not been heard from since they left Atalan for Castle Doom. While the Inhumans are quite powerful, I can only assume that they were inducted into Doom's growing army of minions. I'm afraid not. Your team is the Earth's last hope. Should you fail, all is lost. And not just for our planet, for our universe. Precisely. I'd imagine he would not notice the tears in the space-time continuum until it is too late for even his power to correct. The best of luck against Dr. Doom. Deadpool, good luck battling Dr. Doom. This mission should test even your combat skills. Wait a minute! We're not gonna fight Doom! No one told me that! I want my lawyer! I want my mommy! I want my lawyer's mommy. He has complete control over Odin's power. Doom's slightest whim now becomes a reality, and he's shown little restraint in its use. Yes, Dr. Pym has detected several spatial anomalies near Earth. He feels that very soon these will develop into rips that will begin to unravel our universe. This structure has grown to enormous proportions and is constantly changing to fit Doom's mood. It is most likely protected by an army of former superheroes, friends of yours that were turned evil. Other than that, I could not imagine what Doom's insidious mind has dreamed up. I am afraid not. Because he interfered by saving the team earlier, his people have stripped him of his powers. The Watchers are aware of that, but they take their vow of non-interference very seriously. I assure you, they will not permit Uatu to help us any further. It was no trouble at all. All right. Iceman. I want to wish you good luck at Castle Doom. Really? Well, how about a good luck kiss, hmm? Give me something to fight for. I do not think so, but nice try. Yeah, I kind of thought you'd say that. It was no trouble at all. Well, if you say so.
If you could give me a hand, I'd be willing to build you a device that might help you fight Dr. Doom. There's a magnetic dampener located somewhere in Stark Tower, and there's also a technical manual for calibrating it. If you could bring me those two items, I think I can set you up with some protection. There's no doubt about it. I've detected several areas near Earth that are beginning to show signs of dysfunction. They're areas where the rules of our universe break down, where chaos is becoming evident. Once chaos becomes fully active, a tear develops. If the tear becomes large enough, there's no force in the universe that can stop it, even Doom's powers. The rip will continue to grow until it envelops everything and chaos reigns. Our universe will become a lifeless, useless void. Wish I had better news to give you. All right. Hey, Spider-Man. Are you looking forward to taking on Doctor Doom in this final mission? I don't think so. Wish I had better news to give you. Very good. Now I have both of the things I need. Give me a second. There. This device should help you against any lightning attack by Dr. Doom. Wish I had better news to give you. We don't have much time. Let's make this quick. Hank was able to reactivate S.H.I.E.L.D. satellites and what he saw wasn't pretty. Doom's converted every major city on Earth and it's spreading like the plague. The effect is slowly creeping over the entire planet. According to Pym's calculations, the entire Earth will be consumed in less than 24 hours. They're being changed just like the land. Everyone who's affected by this mindlessly worships Doom. Doom seems to have made a point of turning all superheroes on Earth into his servants. Your team is the last hope for this planet. Good luck with Doom. Got it. Shouldn't we be heading to Castle Doom? Good luck with Doom. Say so. We don't have much time. Let's make this quick. We're going to be arriving at Doom's Castle soon. Once there, you'll have to locate Doom and use the McCran Crystal to steal his power. You can bet your boots Doom ain't gonna let that go without a scrap. Uh, make no mistake, you're in for the fight of your lives. But it has to be done. As predicted, tears are developing in near-Earth space because of Doom's unbridled use of power. 
Pretty soon even Doom won't be able to stop it. What will happen if the tears are left unchecked? The universe will unravel in a matter of months. All life will cease to exist everywhere. Gone forever. Wow, not to criticize, but this mission briefing is turning into a real downer. I don't know any other way to put it. Trillions of lives are depending on you to defeat Dr. Doom. Look, I know we've had our differences over the course of this little adventure, and I know you don't agree with the way I've done some things. But as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., I can't ever afford to lose. And now you're in the same boat. You have to win this one. Not to worry, Colonel. I am prepared. Wolverine and I are certainly ready for anything. You got that right. Yeah. I've always wanted to fight someone with the powers of a god. Don't worry, Colonel. We know what's riding on this. We won't fail. I know you won't. Good luck. And watch yourselves. Greetings, my old friends. You're looking quite well for being dead. But then, I suppose I have Uazo to thank for that little fellow. I know a great many things. And once I am finished here on Earth, I shall turn my attention to the stars. Then, all the Watchers will learn to respect the might of doom. Do you see how easily I now control the elements themselves? Finally, I have achieved the ultimate power. Why would I destroy the last people who can appreciate my work? I want you to roam around and see what I've changed. Since you have yet to truly understand my magnificence, I will demonstrate it with this simple puzzle. Can you choose the correct door to leave, or is that beyond your feeble intellect? Ready to take a leap of faith, old friend? 
job. You're a mess. I just wish we could have been fed. The Colossus you knew is dead, comrades. And with him, died his ridiculous notions of the X-Men and mutant equality. Doctor Doom merely opened my eyes and showed me that he is the supreme power. And should you need proof, look no further than to the man who is standing beside me. I am not the patriotic poster boy you know. I am an entirely new life form created out of nothingness by Dr. Doom. Yes, I am equal to your Captain America in every way, but my loyalties are to Dr. Doom. Ah, and now it is time you felt just how strong the followers of Doom are. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Say so.
It took you long enough to get here. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever make it. Don't be too hard on them, Psylocke. They aren't one of Lord Doom's chosen. Yet. Our minds aren't twisted. We now realize that Lord Doom is the ultimate power in this galaxy. And in serving him, we are granted abilities far beyond anything we had previously known. If you really think that's so, then follow me, and you'll see what Lord Doom is capable of. Go ahead. Follow Cyclops if you want, or stay here and face me. Either way, you're going to have to fight us both sometime. to follow me down here. I can't say that was a wise tactical decision. It's just further proof that Dr. Doom is the ultimate power. He can't be beaten, so why not give up and save yourself the pain? Sorry, you're wasting your breath trying to appeal to the old Cyclops. Dr. Doom has total control over me. Just like he's about to have total control over you. <laughs> Officially a loser. <laughs> And a po- 
go this direction. To stop the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's a big ten four. I just heard from Karnak and Adelaide. He thinks the ultimate nullifier that Medusa had been looking for is located somewhere near you. At this point, anything is worth a try. Keep your eyes open for it. Fury out.
Yeah. The might of Thor, son of Odin. Evil Thor, would you give me your hammer? I need it to free Odin, and I'd really rather not fight you for it. So you're the real deal, huh? Somehow I thought you'd be taller in person, and a lot more intelligent. Wait a minute, you're my exact double and you're making fun of me? Hmm, huh. maybe I'm not that bright after all. I'm not your exact double. Doom made a few modifications. Well, it looks like he ruined my sense of fashion and trashed my voice. Is that it? Or did he make other changes? Yes. He gave me the desire to kill my enemy. As a fellow Spider-Man, I urge you not to use the word kill. We aren't the kind of person who kills. We disable. You are such a goody two-shoes. I'm gonna kill you. Hey! Now, what word did we just finish talking about? You cannot hide from me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody, look! I won! I won! Dr. Doom still wields Odin's power. But you have saved Odin's life by freeing his body from this prison. For that act of bravery, you have the appreciation of all of Asgard. Return to us now in Asgard, Odin. Here you will rest, that you might one day regain your powers. Wish we could have been friends.
Got it. If you say so. Why not? Well, if you say so. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, if you say so. Sure thing. All right. All right. Just what I was thinking. All right. Sure. Got it. Okie doke. allegiance to him. And if you don't, we'll pound you until you don't. Got it? <laughs> Why not? Sure. All right. He <laughs>
say so. Why not? Yeah, yeah. If you say so.
trees. Well, if you see 
Thank your old man for me, Thor. Odin did one hell of a job reversing the damage doomed to Earth. Aye, but I believe he is presently occupied with Doom and my brother Loki. Let's hope he's teaching them new kinds of pain. The world owes you a debt of gratitude it can never repay. But with the danger past, our task force must be disbanded. You're a punk fury. Listen, fellas. I don't care if you like me, but if a threat like this comes again, can S.H.I.E.L.D. count on your help? The world can count on us, sir. Such insignificant creatures. They dare steal from Galactus. For that, I will destroy their planet. 
All is well, but the tale is not yet complete. While pursuing Doctor Doom, your actions have had ramifications you could not possibly imagine. Allow me to show you the future you helped to create. You chose wisely in saving the Omega Base computer. It contained research data on the Legacy Virus, a disease that is deadly to mutants. In several years, that information will lead to a cure and stop the plague. With one random act of bravery, you saved the entire mutant race from possible extinction. You showed true courage in locating the ingredients needed to heal Namor in Atlantis. Because of this, Namor will grow to trust surface dwellers. And in time, he will aid in the formation of a worldwide organization of superheroes. This group will save the Earth from many dangers that would have otherwise destroyed it. It was quite valiant of you to rescue Senator Kelly, a known detractor of mutants. Because of your kindness, the Senator will successfully sponsor the Mutant Aid Bill. This will allocate government funds for schools like Professor Xavier's. These schools will prove to be very effective in training young mutants in how to control their powers. It was most unfortunate that you were unable to rescue Jean Grey in Mephisto's realm. For she does not die in the Infinity Vortex. Instead, she returns to Earth in the form of the Dark Phoenix to take vengeance upon those who did not save her. You were wise to locate the Sword of the Valkyrie. With her aid, Asgard is easily freed, but more importantly, Loki is imprisoned. And with the God of Mischief in chains, Ragnarok, the end of the Asgardian dimension never comes to pass. It was most fortuitous that you found Vola's ring. This pleases the Asgardian prophetess such that, in years to come, she will warn Odin of an attempt on his life. This will lead to the capture of the villainous fire demon, Surtur. Saving Princess Lalandra was a very wise decision. In time, the Shi'ar will give Earth advanced technology that will wipe out all disease and hunger. Eventually, this new technology will even allow humanity to colonize other planets. You are to be congratulated on saving the Skrull planet from destruction. Soon, the Skrull will form a tentative partnership with Earth. Shortly after that, the Skrull will come to the aid of Earth when the Kree threaten to enslave humanity. It was most wise of you to save Odin from his confinement in Castle Doom. In the near future, the mighty Thanos will seek to conquer Earth. Only intervention by Thor's father will save the human race from enslavement. You are to be congratulated 
for locating the damaged Ultimate Nullifier at Castle Doom. One day soon, Mephisto will seek to conquer our dimension. But Reed Richards will repair the Ultimate Nullifier and use it to stop the vile creature before all is lost. Although this timeline was created by you, know that it can be altered. For you are a hero, and your every action or inaction affects the entire universe. So, uh, I just read these pages into the mic here, huh? Yeah, just be careful you don't get too close. Uh, speaking of getting close, what are you doing after work? I, uh, beg your pardon? Let's face it, there's an attraction here that neither of us can deny. <laughs> Mr. Stark, why don't we just stay focused here, okay? Oh, I'm focused, all right, little lady. You have my full attention. I could not help but notice Daredevil was here earlier. How is he being used in this video game about me? Um, it's not just about you, Namor. There are other superheroes in the game as well. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, are you being serious? Yeah, there's Wolverine and Spider-Man and Thor. A lot of different characters. I would think this to be a waste of time. Why would anyone wish to play any hero but me? Uh, ho hold on a sec. Uh, Chris, uh, excuse me, one sec. What is it, Thing? Yeah, could I have some water? All this talking, it's making my voice gravelly. <laughs> gravelly, get it? Gravelly. <laughs> oh, ah, never mind. Thanks, Spider-Woman, that was great. Iceman, you're up. Wait, don't let Iceman in the booth yet. Hey, Spider-Woman, how was the... Whoa, uh, marrying me. Huh. Uh, sorry, Bobby. Voice acting is stressful for me. My pheromones got a little out of control. No problem. <laughs> is is that Thor? Yes, he came a little early for his voiceover session. <gasps> oh, um, is there another door out of here? No. Sorry, Loki. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, when he sees me, he's going to just... Oh, hello, Thor! <laughs> it's pretty funny how I glued your hammer to the floor this morning, huh? <laughs> yes, ha, ha, ha. It was very amusing. You! <laughs> I'm telling Daddy! Everyone back away from the nuclear bomb. Sue and I will handle this. You said the word wrong, Reed? It's nuclear. Yeah, I know. Nuclear. You did it again. It's pronounced nuclear. That's just what I said. Nuclear. Ugh, hun. <laughs> Listen to me. It's nuclear. You're adding a U in there. Look, I've got four advanced degrees in physics. I should certainly know how to say nuclear. I am so excited to be here. I I've never done voiceover work before. I'm sure you'll be just fine, Electra. Now, if you just say your first line. From uh, this paper here? Sure. All right, if we're all ready to go, this is take one and daredevil how i've missed you if only they were hey <laughs> oh i'm so sorry he he came up behind me and i reacted without thinking who is he you just knocked out devon our sound engineer a haiku by my good friend oz <clears throat> i hate broccoli and think it totally sucks why is it not meat? Well done, X-Men. The mission was successful. Uh, sorry, Professor Xavier, but could you say that line one more time? Our, uh, writer Bob would like you to be a little angrier. Not to be difficult, but why must I repeat every line ten times? I know it's overkill, but Bob wants you to get the character right. How could I get it wrong? I am the character. Look, I'm sorry, but he'd like you to do it again. 
Robert, this is Professor Charles Xavier, and I am in your mind. If you do not cease this senseless repetition, I will force you to revisit memories of your schoolyard fight with a bully named Knuckles. Hey, uh, Professor X, Bob just had a change of heart. He is absolutely fine with how you said that last line. Somehow I knew he would. Hello, Colonel Fury. Welcome to the voiceover session. It's good to be here. I just... Wait a minute. What's... What's this? Somebody, call security. There's no time. I'll have to handle this myself. Take that. And a little bit of this. How about one of these? And for the rest of you, some lead. Colonel, what just happened? Evil ninjas. They just won't leave me alone. Goodness. I apologize. Maybe if I stood sideways. That was my fault. I'll pay for that. Honest. Galactus, you're too big. Get out of the booth. I should probably call my agent. Okay, Weasel, it's break time. Come back in five. All right. Hey, cool. A data port. Uh, Weasel, don't touch that. Relax, I'm a hacker. I'm great with all this high-tech stuff. No, Weasel, please, get away from that. I have got it covered. Watch, when I... I'm the best at what I do. Okay, Wolverine, um, can we try it again with a little more feeling this time? I am the best at what I do. Mm, not quite, uh, one more time for luck. I'm the best at what I do. Oh man, this is tough. Oh, you're close. You're very, very close. You just need to dig down a little deeper and show us the real Wolverine. Right. Uh, now, what was I supposed to say? Uh, celebrities. Welcome, Black Panther. It's an honor to have royalty here. Please, I am just a simple man who happens to rule a country and battle evil on a daily basis. So if you just look at your lines on the stand in front of you there? Of course, I have them... Wolverine was the last one in this room, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. How did you know? It smells of cheap cigars and beef jerky. Okay, uh, Dr. Doom, that completes your lines for the game. Thanks very much for coming in. And thank you, Chris. I found this entire endeavor to be quite enjoyable. So much so, in fact, that I'd begun to take acting lessons. <laughs> uh, really? Um, well, good for you. You're quite a natural at it. Yes. Unfortunately, my first acting coach didn't think so, so I had him thrown in a dungeon. My second coach was even less enamored with my acting talents, so I had him tortured and then thrown in a dungeon. As for my latest coach, I had him tortured, thrown in a dungeon, and then, well, let's just say he's in a happier place now. Okay, Jean, I need you to focus on this one. It's gonna take a lot of emotion because this is actually where you die. Wait a minute. I die? Why do I always have to be the one who dies? I don't know. It isn't right. And frankly, it's getting to be really, really annoying. Maybe I should have a little chat with the associate producer! Thanks for coming to record your lines today, Iwatu. Will I not be recording lines for battle? I am quite certain people would find it most entertaining. Uh, no. Sorry. At heart, I am an action hero. Listen. It is clobbering time. Anyone else want a piece of me? Thanks, Awatu, but, uh, no. No, no. Get this. I am the best at what I do. Brr. Don't make me call security. I say thee nay. Oh, sorry I'm late for the session. I had another late night. <sighs> Mephisto, that's the third time this week. What's the deal? Oh, you know, just out with old friends. But you're from a different dimension. How many people could you possibly know here in Hollywood? You forget. I make deals with people for their astral souls. Oh, that's right. In that case, you must have a lot of good friends here in town. All right, everybody. That's a wrap.
Yes? Black Widow, where are you? Not to worry. Did you do as I asked? Yeah, I grabbed Fury's brainwave pattern from S.H.I.E.L.D.'s medical database. Excellent. Did you upload the information to my laptop? <sighs> yes, it just finished. Now where are you? That, I am afraid, will have to remain a secret. But if S.H.I.E.L.D. finds out what I just did, they'd hunt me down like a dog. Yes. I imagine they would. I have one last thing I require from you, Weasel. Then our business will be concluded. Anything. Just name it. I need you to take the fall. You're under arrest by the authority of S.H.I.E.L.D. Black Widow, you can't do this to me! Get down on the floor! Now! No! Thank you.
We don't have much time. Good luck with the... Deadpool? Black Widow. I've got it now. Are those real? <gasps> I beg your pardon? Uh, your teeth. Are they real? They're just so darn shiny and straight. You are most welcome. Ha, ha, ha. 